We welcome uh, Superior Livestock here with us this year. We want everybody, if you haven't checked in to rope, I don't plan on you roping. So don't just show up and say, hey, I'm doing this. I'd appreciate it if you give me some heads up. So we're going to get rolling. Just so you know, the camera is located right there. That means everybody needs to be back against the fence. Because they're going to be taking shots coming out of the box. So if you're roping, please move down. Again, welcome buyers, consigners for being here. Uh, the concession stands will be opening up probably this morning here pretty quick. I seen her. Also we've got some vendors that are here with us that are set up. We've got Burns, we've got some leather companies, we've got Circle Dot, we've got Broken Z. We've got uh, Kale Simons is here. He's got rope holders. Then we'll have uh, we've got Keylix and some other uh, vendors that are going to be here with us throughout the weekend. So again, thank you all for coming. Again, when we get rolling, I just remind you, I know as team ropers, we like to start creeping forward and uh, giving us a line. We don't really need that. It's a very narrow pin. So please be mindful. This isn't the World Series of roping. This isn't the NFR. We are here to show your horse and what it can do. So we're going to get going this morning if you are ready. Again, we're live on Superior, so please don't come up to me cussing me out. I appreciate that. And the people online will appreciate that. So we're going to get started. All right, we're going to start with lot number two. We we'll on the head or on the heel side. Tra who? He's coming. All right. I don't know what. All right. So on the head side, the helper horse. Lot number two, this is Penny, consigned by Woodland Ranches and ZW Training and Horseshoeing. There's lots of great video out there on Facebook on this uh, little mare right here. She's a four-year-old. It's a misprint in the catalog. We have her as a five-year-old. So she is a four-year-old and, and an athletic mare. All right, next one. No, we're just going to go. I don't have a specific order. So, we're going to ride in and move in as fast as we can. Is that? All right. So, on the head side, the helper horse. On the heel side, this is Mouse, consigned by Three String Cattle Company. What's that? You, most often, the flat, there's plenty of healers out there. So Mouse is lot number 40. Lot 40, again, consigned by Three String Cattle. We're going to move in. This is lot number 16 on the heel side. If somebody wants to jump in, show one on the head side. Lot number 16, this is Skeet, consigned by Hughes Livestock. On the head side is going to be lot number 60, Roscoe, consigned by RMO Horses. Six-year-old buckskin gilding, Roscoe. You got Alvin Hedden on Roscoe. Aaron, he's going to be healed on Skeet. Lot 60 on the head side, coming hard to the cattle. Roscoe. 
running in there like you want one too. Here we go, lot number 54 is going to be riding in on the heel side. This is Jazzy, consigned by Darius Simons. On the head side is Casino, lot number 65, consigned by Casey Weston. Now, a lot of some of these horses, they are just green to the rope and box. We're just kind of showing off a little bit of what they can do. Bay Gilding rides in there and a broke Gilding. Darius climbs in, grabs two feet on Jazzy. So, again, a lot of them were showing just a little bit of what they can do. On the head side, we have lot number 57 riding into the box. On the heel side, it is lot number 34. Lot number 57 is Richard consigned by Brett Martin. Lot number 34 was Chester, also consigned by Brett Martin. So, Martin horses. We got a helper horse, and we got lot number two. Again, this is Penny on a second run. Consigned by Woodland Ranch. Along with ZW Rope Horse Training. Next up, we're going to move to lot number 58. 58 is consigned by Stetson Merrill. This is Oho. Now, in the picture, this horse has picked up some bucking horses. Here is a six-year-old gilding. Big, heavy gilding. He's going to run out there. Big enough to tow a truck, I should say. So they picked up Bronx on him. They've roped bulls on him. Lot number 14 is who he's roping with. So we've got four more steers, and then we're going to move to some breakaway. Fourteen is Harry, consigned by Riley Robinson. It's a 19-year-old gilding. So if you're looking for a been there, done that horse, lot number 19, it'll probably be one that'll help your kids learn how to rope. So a helper horse on the head side, lot 44A on the heel side. This is Caddy, consigned by Rhett Nebaker. Here's a four-year-old sorrel gilding. It is Caddis ATM. So check out the heel horse. That's the one you're watching. Moves in, ropes up behind leg. Moving into the team rope and box right now, we have lot number 61 on the heel side. This is Kit Kat, consigned by Dylan Hoffman. Here is a four-year-old Red Roan Gilding, PLL, the tags on the head side. Head side, we've got a helper horse. Slot number 61, riding in hard, makes a good hay. Look at him tuck his head, set down, ropes two feet, great. Little heel horse right there. Lot number six on the head side is going to be Denali. This is a five-year-old consigned by Clayton Cox. On the heel side is going to be lot number 46, Senorita, consigned by Wade Davis. As our head side was just a little bit late, but you watched the heel horse run down through the arena doing what it needed to do.
On the head side, you have lot number 61. This is... Here, 51. This is Homer, consigned by Pete Polson. On the heel side is Mouse, lot number 40, consigned by Three Street and Cattle Company. Heads up down there on the far side. All right, we're going to run about 10 breakaway calves. So if you're planning on breakaway in and are ready to break away, you can move in. We're going to go with Oho. Now, like I said, here is a big, been there, done that, gilded. You can take him, use him on the ranch, but he's been down the rodeo trail. They picked up Bronx on him. They've used him in the Brandon pen. He'll head heel. He'll break away. He might be just a little bit big of a breakaway horse. The team of us out there just wrote, wrote the muleys. We just ran the team. Like You're late. Yeah, we're going to go with Oho. Again, lot number 58. Oho is consigned by Stetson Merrill, lot number 58. So as they rope the calf. We're going to move in. This is lot number 46. This is Senorita, consigned by Wade Davis. Also, we would like to invite all of you out here today at 4 o'clock this afternoon. We're going to be doing a buyer's clinic. Our clinician this year is Wade Davis. He is a phenomenal trainer, as well as clinician. But he's been up and down the auction road. He's going to talk a little bit about horses and horse management, buying horses. Look at the little Palomino horse putting him right there. Here we go, lot number 34. Lot number 34 is going to be Chester, consigned by Brett Martin. Here is Ray Flakes by Little Pepto Ray. So goes back to Dual Pep on the top side, Peppy Sam Badger on the bottom. Sweet little Sorrel Gildy. All right, number 24. This is Teddy, consigned by Laurel Okasud. This is Lily's Brogan. Here's a five-year-old Palomino gilding. Goes back to Pep de Boone's Mole on the top side. Freckles Playboy on the bottom. You're looking for a flashy little Palomino horse. This is one that you'd want in your barn. All right, here we go. Lot number 16 is Skeet consigned by Hughes Livestock. Here's a six-year-old registered RCCC the Cad. On the top side goes back to Highbrow Cat. On the bottom side is Colonel Freckles. So very well papered again, little Palomino. We're going back. We're going to watch Richard again, consigned by Brett Martin. There's a five-year-old. Great-grandson, a dual pep. So, again, you're looking for one that you want to take and finish in the roping pen. That is one to do it if you're looking for one to go ranch on.
As we go to 44A, this is Caddy, consigned by Rhett Nebaker. Rhett Nebaker, Caddy's ATM. Here's a grandson of Highbrow Cat. And great grandson of Freckles Playboy. So we got four more breakaway calves, then we're going to run everything back. Have to run everything back and reload. So lot number 23, this is Buttermilk, consigned by ZW Rope Horses. Here's a six-year-old buckskin gilding. Again, if you're looking for one that has been started right, ready to go to the breakaway pen, who knows his job, buttermilk, would definitely be one to take a look at. Next up is lot number 22. Lot number 22 is Sue, consigned by a three-string cattle company. Here's a Palomino gilding. He's 11 years old. Dare to Sue is his name. He goes back to, here's a grandson of Shining Spark. Good looking Palomino gilding. Now we got one of our youngest ropers coming in. This is lot number 62. Here is a horse that's ready to hit, well, has been down that rodeo trail. Bronson Bullthorpe, he is riding Jews. Here's a 15 year old bay gilding. It's Tell Me I'm Your Choice. On the top side is SR Instant Choice, goes back to Doc's Hickory on and is out of Stapadigo Smoke, goes back to Lena's Telsus. For the Bullthorps, they go up and down the rodeo trail, so here's one that has been down the trail. Little horse pins his ears, puts Bronson there. As lot number 34 rides in, lot 34 is Chester, consigned by Brett Martin. Here is your dual pep, grandson of dual pep and grandson of Pep to Boone's Mole on the bottom side. as we break it away. All right, we're gonna hustle down. We're gonna bring the cattle back, run them through again. Quick, we got to show some of it. We're gonna take just about a five minute break. Well, as soon as we can get the cows back and loaded, we'll move on.
Okay. All right, just so everybody knows, stay behind the barrel, that way. All right, helper horse on the head side, number 23, lot 23, consigned by ZW Rope Horses. That is Buttermilk. Zeke moving in, roping two hind feet. Now, just so you know, we're going to run the steers through, then we're going to run the steers back down here. We'll rope calves, and then we'll finish with steers again. So... Hopefully everybody gets a chance. Lot number 58, this is Oho on the heel side. Big, really shines as a pickup horse. Lot number six on the head side. Lot 34 moving in on the heel side. This is Chester consigned by Outlaw Ranch. And lot number 57. Fifty-seven. Also, this is Richard, consigned by Outlaw Ranch. Here is a dual ray grandson, smart, out of a smart little Lena Bell. On the head side. Wow. Take a look. Heel horse sits down like you want one to. Makes a good hard stop. Way to scare the camera, lady. All right, lot number 16, Skeet on the heel side. Lot number 60 is Roscoe, consigned by RMO Horses. Here is a six-year-old. Playwright by Colonel. Is his registered name, Buckskin. And a Palomino. Just so you know, Alvin, he doesn't miss very many. Lot number 66, riding in on the head side. Lot number 44A on the heel side. Lot number 66 is Spark, consigned by Rhett Nebaker. Here's a five-year-old Cyril Gilding. Grandson of Shining Spark, and on the bottom side, he is out of Rowdy's little gal, goes back to Rowdy in Hollywood. So we've got a helper horse on the head side. Lot number 61 on the heel side, this is Kit Kat. Here is a four-year-old Red Roan Gilding consigned by Dylan Hoffman. If you watch, horse has a lot of run and race. So if you're looking for your next heel horse, one to take to Arizona or all the million dollar ropings this summer, take a look at lot number 61. Next in is lot number 14. This is Harry, consigned by Riley Robinson. And on the head side is going to be Senorita, 46, consigned by Wade Davis. Again, we invite everybody out here at 4 o'clock for our uh, buyer's clinic. Wade, is a good thing he wasn't looking. So again, the heel horse here is a been there, done that horse, one that'll train your kids in how to rodeo. If you're looking for a junior rodeo horse or a high school rodeo horse, one that's ready to help you out, take a look at those. 
at lot number 14. Here we go, lot number 54. This is Jazzy, consigned by Dara Simons and Miss Piggy. Lot number 76 from ZW Rope Horses Woodland Ranches as Jake. Gets him roped. Here we go, lot number 22. This is Three String Cattle Company. And Sue. Held for horse on the head side. Hard running, Palomino. Moves in, there's the stop. Takes the jerk. That is Sue, who is a grandson of Shining Spark. All right, on the head side, you have lot number two. This is Penny, consigned by Woodland Ranch ZW Rope Horses. To be honest, this is one of my favorite little mares. I've loved her from the day she was born. I got video of her. But if you're looking for one that has been there, done that, they've packed elk on her, they've trained on her. I was talking to Dan the other day, and they was roping bulls out in the mud on her. She's a super athletic, fun to ride horse. Casino. This is the last one. Then we're going to start loading calves. And while they're loading calves, we're going to run the steers back. Casino on the head side. Roscoe, lot number 60. On the heel side, so lot 60, Helen, lot 65, Hedden. Casinos consigned by Casey Weston, and lot number 60 is consigned by RMO Horses. So again, if you are looking for the live feed for this, you are on, we are on Superior, and you'll go to their auction page. It's under, it's Purebred and Equine Auctions, as I believe the tab is. It's about the second one down, second or third one down, and it's April 5th. Heber Valley Horse Sale Preview. All right, here we go. Lot number 57 is riding in. Here is Richard, consigned by Outlaw Ranch. Here's a five-year-old Sorrel Gilding. And lot number 23, Buttermilk, consigned by ZW Rope Horses, will be riding in. Now, Zeke never claimed to be a calf roper. He's a team roper. But he ropes quite a few calves, and you won't see him miss very often. That is buttermilk, lot number 23 in the sale. 
Riding in right now is lot number 17. This is a substitute horse. Lot number 17 consigned by Steve Young. This is Buck. And if you know Steve, he is a veteran of training rope horses. Bringing us a really, really nice horse to the sale this year. So we're going to score one on the head side. Lot number 62 is Juice. Here is a 15-year-old Bay Gilding. A grandson of Doc's Hickory. And on the bottom side it is a Doc Alina bred mare that he's out of. As the old calf cuts back, not giving us a good run, but see a horse with some good rate. Lot number 40 is Mao's, consigned by Three String Cattle Company. Good hard stop. So again, if you're looking for a heel or breakaway horse, check out lot number 40, Three String Cattle. It's at 5 o'clock. The clinic today is at 5 o'clock. I misread my, my schedule for the day. Lot number 16. Consigned by Hughes Livestock. Ski. 5 o'clock today is the buyer's clinic. It's a good thing Brent's around to set me straight. He's frustrated already. It's going to be a great weekend. Here we go with lot number 24. Lot 24 is Teddy. Consigned by Justin Laurel Olkison. Here's a five-year-old Palomino Gilding. Now, Wade, don't creep out there too far because we're trying to get good video. So horse that's got a really great start to him, ready to finish up and make a yeah, breakaway or calf horse. He is lot number 24, Teddy. Next up is going to be lot number 14. This is Harry, consigned by Riley Robinson, a 19-year-old chestnut gilding. Grandson of Peppy Sam Badger. And on the bottom side goes back to Doc Alino. A horse that, if you're looking for one to train your kids with, this could be the one. As soon as we get the old yellow calf put away.
Riding in next is lot number 44A. 44A is Caddy, consigned by Rhett Nebaker, a four-year-old Sarl Gildy. Out of Caddy, or uh, out of ATM player goes back to Lydia player and Threckles Playboy. Top side is a highbrow cat and Peppy Sam Bradger. Peppy Sam Badger Bread. Lot number 22, Sue, consigned by Three String Cattle Company. Look at one getting in the dirt. Fancy Palomino three string cattle. Sue. Lot number 23 is buttermilk. Here's a grade buckskin gilding ZW rope horses. Oh, mare. It's a mare, buttermilk. It's a buckskin mare. That's a misprint, my bad. It even says it buckskin mare in the bio. So ZW Rope Horses, a six-year-old buckskin mare. As he folds one on, good stop. Is everybody roped a steer that needs to rope? You need to rope one. All right, we're going to load the steers in. We probably won't be bringing any of the calves back down. All right, lot 57 is Chester, and we've got a helper horse on the head side. We're going to go lot number six and 46. Senorita on the heel side. Lot number six on the head side. So lot number six is Denali, consigned by Clayton Knox. As lot number 49 is going to ride in to the head box. Lot 49. Looks like we've got a big athletic sorrel. If I can get the page flipped in our book. It's a good thing Andrew Gowdy's here helping us out. This is Swagger consigned by Russ and Edra Day. Here is a six-year-old Sorrel Gilding Cadillac Swagger out. Let's see. He's by PCR Pink Cadillac out of a dash to fame. Or out of a zip Adelia's Queen. Big, solid head horse, Swagger. Helper horse on the head side. Lot number 40 is Mouse, consigned by Three String Cattle. If you're looking for one that's got the flash and the chrome, heads up. Lot number 76 is Miss Piggy, consigned by ZW Rope Horses and Shoeing, well, along with Woodland Ranches. Jake will be riding, and then a lot 60 is going to be on the heel side. This is Roscoe, consigned by RMO Horses.
Miss Piggy's going to move out there. She rates, pins her ears, turns him off. Lot number two's Penny. Lot two, Penny, consigned by Woodland Ranch. ZW Rope Horses and Oho, lot number 58. As Zeke's got him rope turned off, Stetson will move in. Now we talked a lot about Stetson's horse, Oho. He is a pickup horse. That's where he shines at picking up bronc horses. Lot number two, Penny. She's the copper penny of the bunch. She's lot number two, and she has been there, done that, just a young four-year-old mare. 51 on the head side. This is Homer, consigned by Pete Pulser, or Pete Polson. Homer of Fermerlow. By the walk of Homer, goes back to Bully Bowl. Yon and Special Effort on the top side. On the bottom, it's going to be Lil Miss Merlot. Goes back to Wine for Times and Monty Merlot. And Peppy's intern. Lot 14 is Harry on the heel side. So we got a helper horse on the head side. Lot number 62 is Juice. Consigned by Mark Bullthorpe. Fifteen-year-old horse that's ready to take your junior high rodeo athlete to the next level. Here is a fancy done, well broke done gilding. Here we go. This is lot number 29, Dakota. Dakota's consigned by RMO Horses. Here's a four year old. MDP, Guy Buck Barb. By Guy's Smoke and Mirrors, goes back to Reckless Guy and Frenchman's Guy. Out of a Pretty Buck Barb. Goes back to Pokodeck on the bottom, so great little horse by RMO. Right in, we've got a helper horse on the head side, lot number 40 on the heel side. This is Mouse, consigned by Three String Cattle. We're going to bring them back up one more time. We got a couple other horses that we're going to show. We're going to bring them back up for the last time. We'll bring the steers up. So again, we're going to bring everything back up for the last time. We're going to try to get wrapped up. If you want to sign up, if you've got something that you want to show, I know we've showed the rope horses, quite a bit of them right now. Um, we've got an open preview. We're going to run for probably the next 45 minutes after this. Um, if you want to check in with me, make sure we're good. Make sure we have everything that you are needing. Houston. 
So we're going to run one more breakaway. And then after that breakaway, we're going to show a cutting horse. So we're going to run the steers through one time. We'll run the steers through, then we're going to run the calves. We're only going to probably row a handful of the breakaway, and we want to show a cutting horse, too. This is the last, last set of steers. Then we're going to form a couple lines. We're going to rope a couple breakaway calves, but then we're going to put the breakaway calves in the corner, and uh, we've got a cutting horse that we're going to show. So you're going to form, and it's not like a boxing, it, we're cutting. Yeah. Aaron's going to help turn back too. Darren's just got to get ready. Again, we welcome everybody out here today. Thank you for being here. Our trail competition will start at 11 o'clock. We're going to start at 11 o'clock for our trail. 5 o'clock, we're going to do a buyer's clinic. We're just loading steers. They're kind of balled up in the corner.
All right, we got them just about loaded. We're going to have lot number 54, Jazzy Bayron. Here is a Bayron gilding. Jazzy consigned by Dara Simons. On the head side is going to be lot number 76, Miss Piggy consigned by ZW Rope Horses and Woodland Ranch. And Jake Miss. That's just chop suey. All right, right in now we have lot number 29. This is Dakota consigned by RMO Horses. Here's a four year old Dunn gilding. And lot number 60, Roscoe on the heel side is also consigned by RMO Horses. Lot number 71, riding into the head box, this is... Dan Robinson, Scotty, here's a seven-year-old Sorrow Gilding. Goes back to Dash for Cash on the top side. And a lane... Lane's Linster on the bottom side. So if you're looking for one to run, this is one. Also, if you're looking for a classy little heel horse, Penny. Lot number two, Sorrel Mare. She's got the athletic ability. She's got the heart. She's got the try. Lot 57, and a helper horse on the head side. Helper horse on the head side, lot number 61, Dylan Hoffman, kick at. Kit Kat is P-O-L, the tags. By hashtag, go back to Metallic Cat. Goes back to Highbrow Cat. On the bottom, it, she's, he's out of the last all-star. Goes back to Smooth as a Cat. Goes back to Highbrow Cat. So here's a double-bred Highbrow Cat as he scores one. So again, this is Kit Kat as we score it. Scored the last one. Bends his old ears, dives right in where he needs to be.
Lot 40 on the heel side. Mouse. Lot 76, Miss Piggy on the head side. Lot number 16, Skeet on the heel side. So lot 76 consigned by ZW Rope Horses Woodland Ranches. And here is our last steer. We've got a helper horse on the head side. Lot number two consigned by Woodland Ranches. Like I said, I've known this little mare since she was a Wienland. I actually bought her for the Woodlands. She has grown up. They've done an amazing job with her. And she was ready to get in the dirt. Okay, we're going to run a couple of breakaway. So guys, on these breakaway calves, we don't... So what we'll do is we'll put the calves in and then we'll spill them back out into that corner and we'll go into our open. So first in the open will be Smalls consigned by Darren Hughes. So this is lot number 57. This is Outlaw Ranch. This is Richard. Richard, consigned by Outlaw Ranch. Lena's Rain goes back to Dual Ray and Smart Little Lena. That is lot number 40, Mouse, consigned by Three String Cattle Company. Riding in is going to be lot number 17. This is Buck, consigned by Steve Young. So lot number 17.
Riding in, this is lot number 60. This is Roscoe, consigned by RMO Horses. Riding in lot number 23, this is Buttermilk. It's a buckskin mare consigned by ZW Rope Horses. Now this horse will also head a steer. We're showing her right now in the breakaway, but she will also head a steer. You can make sure to check out their videos. They've got lots of videos of this horse roping. So you can follow them. They've been posting them on Facebook as well. Lot number 22, talk about a little Palomino horse that gets down to the dirt. That's a three-string cattle company horse. That is Sue, consigned by three-string. Riding in's lot number 34. This is Chester, consigned by Outlaw Ranch. This is Ray Flakes by Little Pepto Ray. Goes back to Dual Ray and Dual Pepto. Out of Rome Flakes Mare goes back to Pepta Boons on Peppy Sam Badger, smart little Lena on the bottom side. So they scored that one. We're down to the final two. This is Sue. Again, lot number 22. Consigned by Three String Cattle. And riding in is going to be lot number 23, Buttermilk. Buckskin Mare. Consigned by ZW Rope Horses. And Woodland Ranch. End on a good one. Okay, we're going to dump those calves. We're going to put them in the corner. Rippers, if we can get you to kind of form a line so that those calves don't come back as a, a turn back pen. Okay. Okay. So Darren Hughes just came up, he visited with me. He says he hasn't shown this horse since last October. So we're gonna form a line right here. We can get these horses to form a line, make sure it's kind of a turn back. We're gonna place these calves down here in the corner. So they showed her. So again, this horse was shown last October, hasn't been on a cow, a flag, or anything since then. Surprised Darren didn't take her into the mounted shooting pen. So if you would like to open preview, if you would please just check in with me so I can make a list of kind of an order that we need to go in. We'll do our best to get everybody in. So we're going to move everybody down here just so we've got a turn back pin. We're going to show lot number 42. This is Smalls consigned by Darren Hughes. We're just going to line right here. 
Are you going in the middle? So they're going to set up the cattle right there in the middle in front of our superior camera. Again, if you are interested and you cannot make it to the sale tomorrow, Superior Livestock, you could go to bidsuperior.org or Superior Livestock, drop into the Purebred and Equine Market page. You'll find the Heber Valley Horse Sale. You can watch it live tomorrow as we are watching live today at Superior Livestock. Again, thank you to all of our all of our consigners for being here. And we apologize if you're sitting behind the big black backdrop and you can't see this horse. But if you want to stand up and watch, we're going to cut a cow. There was a couple others that mentioned cutting. If you'll check in with me just so I make sure. So you in lot number 42, this is Smalls, consigned by Darren Hughes. Like we said, yes, Houston is wanting to show. All right, we're going to show lot number 22 quick, and then we'll go to, you want to go to 34? Let's go to lot number 34. This is Chester. Big Dan. And then we'll show lot number 22. So lot 34. Is Chester consigned by Outlaw Ranch?
So this is lot number 22. Is there anybody after this that wants to cut? Oh, 57. Well, after. So this is lot number 22. This is Sue consigned by three string cattle. And all I'm saying is maybe stay out of the middle so we can get a good video for Superior. Consigned by Three String. This is lot number 57, consigned by Outlaw Ranches. Here is a dual pep smart little Lena Sorrel Gilding. He's a five year old. As soon as 57 is done, we're going to go to 79 will be your next one. This is Senorita. Lot 46, so after 46, we'll go 79. And after 79, we will put the calves away. We'll have 79. This is Kevin. Kevin's consigned by Gina Davis. Here's a 15, or that's the wrong description in there. This is Frosty's Roosters by AP Frosty Knight. Goes back to Sun Frost. Goes back to Docs Jack Frost. On the bottom side, it's Rooster Sweetie. Goes back to Gallo Del Cielo and Peppy Sam Badger.
So again, this is a 15-year-old AQHA brown gilding. All right, we're going to spill these calves right back behind you. We'll ask everybody to clear out of the arena. We're going to clear the arena, and we're going to move into some of the open preview. So if you're open preview, and will you please find me right here at the front so I can make sure you're on my list? Um, we're going to start with lot number 41. We'll be showing here. We're lot number 63 if Faith's here. Yes. We're going to get going right here in our open. You ready? What number is it? We're driving in on the All right. We're going to start with lot 41. We're going to show some flag work. Lot 41, this is Casino, consigned by Jody Thackeray. So here's a five-year-old. Consigned by Dave and Jody Thackeray. Here's a five year old Gray Gilding. So this is lot number 41, Casino. Here's a five-year-old dream horse. 
been in the mountains, gathers, trails, experience in ranch work. They've hauled him, shoe him, bathe. It's CD Golden Drop by CDP Matador goes back to Bet on Me 498 and Smart Little Lena. On the bottom side, Ike's Teardrop goes back to Ike's Drifting Pine and Pine Saw by Ike's Hancock and Starbert C. Ed. So you have lot number 41. This is Casino. You pack a flag, been around ropes. We're not doing the trail course yet. Take, relax. We got time for the trail, but we're going to go to the next one. Lot third, or if five's ready, we'll go to five. We're not going in order. This is open. If you signed up to open, yeah. I'm only going for about 15 minutes. Lot number one. We'll go with lot number one. No, we're not going in order. Lot number one is going to be first. Right here. Go. You're up. That is two minutes. 
So again, lot number one. This is Trap. It's a substitute horse. So he's not in your catalog. You've got to have a substitute paper. This is Trap consigned by RMO Horses. Next will be lot number five. Lot number five, this is Bridger, consigned by Brinkley Hansen. Here is a 12-year-old black gilding. P. Vila by Blues Flash Frost goes back to Blue Bud Blood Prestige. Goes back to Quincy Prestige. On the bottom sides, it's Elise Elite Misty Ebony. Goes back to De Niro's Interest. Goes back to Bolero De Niro and Moonshine Tiki. So if you're looking for a big, safe, black, jet black family horse, here's one to take a look at. He's got a gentle and slow demeanor. He's a perfect choice for riders of all ages, from beginner to experienced adults. Okay, we're going to let them finish with the ball, and that's going to wrap up your two minutes. So, pretty cool, fun, family-type horse. Brinkley Hansen brings us this one. You've seen him. They brought him in on the quad. Big horse will play soccer. So if we can get you to clear the arena, we're going to move on to the next horse again. Good little family horse right there.
And we're going to go to lot number 82. We'll have Brinkley pick up her dirty laundry. No, I'm just kidding. All right, lot number 82. So lot number 82 is Houston, consigned by Susie Chadwick, 12-year-old Sorrel Gilding. A good time and man is his registered name. He's by Zippo's Mr. Good Bar, goes back to Zippo Pine Bar, goes back to Zippo Pat Bar, and Blondie's Dude. On the bottom side, he's out of Leave Him in Awe, which goes back to an awesome mister, goes back to Mr. Conclusion and Dynamite. Dynamic Deluxe. So here's a horse that has been used for ranching. They've owned him for eight years. They've been winning some buckles of money on him, ridden in, in the mountains in all parts of Wyoming. He won the Extreme Cowboy Trail Challenge. He'll go over obstacles. He's never offered to buck. Put him away for the winner, and when winner's over, you can saddle him up and ride him off no pri problem. So again, that is Houston, consigned by Susie Chadwick. Next up will be lot number 14. This is Harry. Now we talked about Harry a little earlier. We watched him in the roping preview. But here's one that every kid will need. If they're looking to be in the rodeo world, he's going to turn around, he's going to neck rein. He's 19 years old, so he is just seasoned. If you're looking for one for your kids to go, go to work on and that'll take care of them, these are the kind to have the best ones to have at your house. Hey, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, buddy. Go that way. You're not done yet. All right, here we go next. This is lot number 10. Here is just a three-year-old, and if you're looking for the black, the color, here is one for you.
Again, this is lot number 10, RT Cinco, Brandon and Shannon Tanoli. I probably said that wrong. Three-year-old black gilding, RT Cinco, by legendary one, goes back to custom legend, goes back to custom chrome. On the bottom side, he's out of a shining oak. Elena goes back to Kawana King and Shineman. So shining spark bread on the bottom side, custom chrome, custom legend, world champions on the top side. So that was RT Cinco, three-year-old black gilding. This is lot number 57, consigned by Outlaw Ranch. This is Richard. Here is a dual ray grandson. So AQHA World Show money earner right here. So, money earner, that's 57, Richard. You ready? Where are we going? Joe, Joe next? Joe. All right, we're going to go next to 29, lot number 29, 39, 39 33A, 33A, and 50. So, lot 29 is Dakota. Lot 40, Lot 39, and 33A. 33A is Rio. This is substitute horse. He's not in your catalog or on the substitute paper. We had one that got scratched, and we uh, they offered this one to us. He is a five-year-old gypsy quarter cross, 33A. Lot number 50 is Boots. Good looking sorrel, four white socks. Lot 29 is Dakota. So lot number 30 is Whiskey, is A Bar J Horses. Here's a five year old Palomino gilding. This is a gentleman that's fun to be around. Good looking Palomino color. We've got consigners A Bar J as well as RMO Horses. We will watch them. As they pull the tarp around. Oh, we're going to ride right under it. It's a pinwheel.
long she's been standing there. But. Again, that's lot number 50, Boots, lot number 29, Dakota, lot 39 is Whiskey, and lot 33, A, is Rio. Next up will be lot number 63, consigned by Faith Fitzgerald. Here's a horse that has been shown in the rain cow. So again, this little Palomino horse, you see the pictures. Faith is, they've shown this horse in Raining Cow. So they call this horse yellow. He's a 17-year-old Palomino gilding. His Smart Pepto in gold, he is by I'm a Smart Pepto. Goes back to Pepto Boonsville and Peppy Sam Badger. He is out of a Sweet Sugar Peppy and Lena's Sugar Man. So again, if you're looking for one, he's an easy keeper. He's been out on the ranch. He's roped and drug bulls. They've branded on him. Again, they've showed him in uh, the reigning as well as a queening horse. So again, thank you to Yellow and Faith Fisherald. We're going to go to Lot number 34, this will be the final one before we stop and set up for the trail. So lot 34, then we're going to go right into our trail competition that we said is going to be set up. We're hoping to start as close to 11 as we can. So this will be the final one. So if you have talked to me and signed up, we're going to move the rest of the open till after the trail competition. The rest of the open will go after the trail. Please make sure to get on the list. It's not in sale order. If there was confusion, I apologize for that. But in the trail, we will go as close to sale order as we can. So we will start with one and go to 82 is what we would like to do. We will go as close to sale order as we can. Again, we will bring you in. Horse must be in a halter.
So that was lot number 34, Chester, consigned by Outlaw Ranch. He is a grandson of Dual Ray and Pep de Boonsmull. So thank you to Outlaw Ranch for bringing him. That's going to wrap things up for this portion of the Open. It will finish up with the Open a little bit later. There's a lot of horses that would like to show, but we need to set up and start our uh, trail course competition that we have advertised starting at 11. We want to start as close to 11 as we can, so we're going to open the doors. We're going to bring the trail trailer in and get set up for the trail competition.
like 20 years ago when I was like, I had to go to the freaking IMPRA. That's how long ago so that, that's not even existing anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's a, I'm very fortunate. My senior year was the second, or the first year that they had a few breakaways. Um, yeah, it's so I can, I, but after I had
Well, while we have a second, we're just waiting for a couple more barrels to show up so we can place the slicker. Um, while you're waiting, or if you have a second, you want to step outside to our vendors. We've got a lot of great vendors here with us. Also, the concession stands, they are open. They've got a really delicious assortment of foods. So, they've got chicken strips, they've got fries and burgers. So, stop out there and support the concession stand. Also, some great vendors. We've got Circle Dot Customs, Broken Z Saddlery. Cowgirl Heaven will be here. Burn Saddlery here. We've got rope halters. We've got some animal nutrition set up. Make sure to stop in and visit them. Kelix will be here. They sell molasses-based tubs that work really well for horses and cattle. Should say all livestock. So stop in and support our vendors. They're here to visit with you. Have a good time. Also, Audrey Austin is out there and she does fabulous leather work as well. Mariah Pryor sells custom made jewelry. They must have had to go to Midway to get the other barrel. So our trail hasn't really changed over the last few years. So everybody, there was a map. I believe if you were checking in, there was a map. So. Turns all out. 
uh, mailbox, log pole, shot through the pole, and then two figure eight, stop, back up, spin left, spin right, so two figure eight means like so you can come out of it, go this way, switch, go this way, go straight, stop, back up, go, figure eight, figure eight. Spin left, spin right. All right, we're going to go as close as we can to sale order. We want to say thank you to the Andersons as well as Dave Hicken. They are our judges today. Lot number one is Trap. Trap is a substitute horse, so make sure you have your sub sheet. He is consigned by RMO Horses. So again, lot number one, here is a four-year-old Palomino, 15-1, 1,200-pound Palomino gilding. Blackburn, gold 40. He's by Poco Blackburn Chip. Goes back to Coco Blackburn, Mr. Blackburn 40, and Mr. Poco Blackburn. On the bottom side, he is out of Blackburn Flower. Goes back to Coco Blackburn and Mr. Blackburn 40 and Mr. Blackburn 38. So good-looking, dappled Palomino gilding. That is trap consigned by RMO Horses. Next up will be lot number two. Lot three, you be ready if you're planning on being here. We'll go as close as we can to sale order. This is Penny, consigned by Woodland Ranch, ZW Rope Horses. Here is a four-year-old Catalog says five, but if you look at her paper, she's a 2020 registered mare. She's four years old. Rich J. Honey Cash out of Rich J. Honey goes back to Lee Eyed and Two Eyed Red Buck on the bottom. On the top side, she is by I'd Like Cash, which goes back to Sensation Cash, goes back to New Cash. So if you're looking for a Pitzer Ranch bread gilding or bread mare, this is her. Now, little story, and as I told you in the roping, I picked this little filly out when she was a weanling for the Woodlands. They've raised her since the time she came off her mama. I bought her for Dan and Zeke. She's gritty, she's tough, she's fun. She excels in the roping pen, but if you need to go out and gather bulls or gather cows on the mountain, she's done that as well. She's quiet. She's great to haul. And I was talking to Zeke. He loves to rope on her. 
Now you watched her today in the roping. She wrote both ends. They break away to honor. He's got a good start to her. Again, that's Penny consigned by Woodland Ranch. So lot three hasn't worked his way to the front. We're going to go to lot number four. This is Rubio. Rubio consigned by Arrow Livestock. Here is an eight year old Palomino gilding. Rubio has pizzazz, power, and confidence out of the 30 horses on the ranch. He is one of the best. El Rubio is an all versatile ranch horse. If you dream it, he has probably done it. He excels in the mountain trails, river crossings, bridges, team cattle doctrine, single cattle doctrine, sorting, roping. He does that. Put plus more while making you look good. He is currently on the Promontory Ranch, Cabin Heifers. He's been trained by the more than famous, infamous Cole Johnson and has been ridden by one of Mexico's finest Cheros. So you can check him out. He's got, his, he's got Facebook, he's got Instagram under Arrow Livestock. Again, this is Rubio, an eight-year-old Palomino gilding. And it's fun to watch these trail courses. A lot of times these horses, it's the first time to town for some of them. Sometimes it's out of their element. They're like, we don't see a tire on the trail. We don't see logs in the middle of arena. So, again, a lot of nice horses here today. Lot number Lot number five. This is Bridger, consigned by Brinkley Hansen. Here is a 12-year-old black gilding. If you're looking for one that is jet black, this is the one. Pete Vila is his registered name. Blues Flash Frost goes back to Blues Prestige and Quincy Prestige by Passive Frost. On the bottom side, it's going to be Elite Misty Ebony. Goes back to De Niro's interest goes back to Bolero, De Niro, Shadow Trick, Moonshine Tiki, and Donna B. Gonna. Here is a family member that you are searching for. He's tall, dark, and handsome, kind and patient. 12-year-old, he's registered as a paint horse, but he is jet black. Bridger is gentle and slow demeanor. You watched him earlier. You saw him follow in behind the ATV. Played with the ball. Bridger's neck reining is impressive. He can easily be ridden bitless. Or even with a rope around his neck. He makes the perfect, makes him perfect for any rider. Whether daddy wants to go hunt on him or sister wants to 4-H, he's 15-1. He's got a thick build, comfortable for anybody to ride. We have youth that want to keep, if you have youth that want to keep a safe keep them safe and build their confidence. He is the one for you. He is a very well-behaved riding partner. And so don't miss out on this fabulous opportunity to take home a good one. Again, lot number five, this is Bridger, consigned by Brinkley Hansen. Papered paint horse.
Six to three, he's going to be massive. So, yeah, it makes a little more sense that way, but he is four. <laughs> All right, lot number six, this is Denali. Here is Denali, he consigned by Clayton Knox, a five-year-old. Buckskin gilding. Let's say we're 14.3 and 1,100 pounds. It's VH, genuine song by, remember the song, by goes back to Mr. Joe's song, goes back to the super horse, Mr. Baron Red. So he's double bred, Mr. Baron Red on that top side. He's out of a genuine Melody Dunnett mare is his mama. Genuine Jack Prince goes back to genuine Dak, and he's done his time. So we are, says they are absolutely ecstatic to present this once-in-a-lifetime gorgeous Buxton gilding. We watched him earlier in the rope horse preview. He's been started in the box. He is a true gentleman. And we have had this horse, or we have never had a horse with such an easygoing, fun-loving personality. He's a 2019 gilding. So he loves attention. He loves to follow the little girls around like a puppy. Denali is a joy to ride, whether you're a seasoned trainer is riding him or the five-year-old is yanking on his mouth. Denali lopes pretty circle, turns around like a rainer, and stops hard. He is a well-started in the roping. He's a fine gilding that will go whatever play pace you would like. Whether it be a walk, trot, or a lope, we have had riders of all levels on him, and he will always be the same. Well... Same willing companion. Denali will lay down on command for even the smallest children. He's on the trails. He will go anywhere you put him. Will be willing to ride out alone, up front or in the back. He will calmly cross creek, step over logs, and give you a leisurely ride. Whether you're looking for a companion in the backyard, a quiet trail horse, or some fun time in the arena, Denali checks all the boxes. His pedigree, it speaks for himself. He's Again, out of a son of the famous Pizza Ranch, Mr. Joe's song. His sire, remember the song, is a two-time world show qualifier. Whether you ride him once a week or once a month, he has a willing-to-please attitude. All right, here we go. This is lot number seven. This is Charlie, consigned by Dara Simons. Here is a five-year-old gray gilding. This is one that Connor's been riding. Charlie's a 15-2. He's got that unique gray-colored five-year-old gray gilding. Purchased him as a two-year-old, or we purchased him two years ago to start him and bring him to this sale. He weighs 1250. He stands as 
He should while on the ground and is going very well in the arena. Trotting, loping circles like a champ. We have started tracking him on the lead steer and shows that he is going to be very handy for someone as a rope horse. He travels very well in the mountains, both as a saddle horse and will handle the pack, saddle, and haul your most treasured treasures with ease. He has been on overnight hunts. He's being tied to a tree as well as a high line. And he never, and he knows how to remain calm. He is definitely the kind of horse that will make it, or he's definitely the kind of horse that will make it up to the top of whatever you point him. He wears a number one shoe and has the type of bone that will keep him sound for the rest of his life. His potential is so high. He is definitely not a beginner horse, although he has never done anything stupid. He just is, has a big tank, and he's ready to go all day. If you are interested, you can contact Darius. But like I said, Tanner, or... Connor's been riding this horse. We say co congratulations. Connor and his brother, they're wrestlers, so they spent all winter long wrestling, and they've been doing a good job with these horses come the spring. This is the one that Connor's been riding again. Make sure to visit with the Simons about their horses. They've got some nice horses this year in the sale. He's a big, stout, solid, gray gilding. He's got some great colors. You can see how he approaches everything. He is a willing to please horse. That is Charlie, lot number seven. All right, here we go with lot number nine. This is Dash, consigned by Orba Yoder. Here is a 10-year-old Bay Gilding. He's 14-3. This is Smart Boy Dash by Will Smart Starbuck. Goes back to Smart Peppy, Doc and Doc Alanis by Smart and Smart Peppy, Peppy Sam Badger and Zero Badger Girl. On the bottom side, he is out of Briley Sue. Goes back to Pretty Boy Perry and Toast is it which goes back to Mr. Jess Perry, goes back by elected and dash, toasted to dash and six is it. Here is a stunning Bay Gilling with lots of chrome. He is an absolute gem on the trails. He's sure footed and reliable nature. If you're looking for a horse with looks and pleasure, then Dash is a dream come true. This fancy gilding rides in the arena and on the trails. Our 13-year-old daughter loves him, uses him on barrels and poles, and carries a flag. He has been in the snow up to his belly, on the mountain trails, in traffic, on the road. He's moved cattle on the ranch, and he takes all. He takes it all in stride. He neck reins, leg pressure, and a big stop. He's safe for all levels of riders and he will greet you at the gate every morning I can't say enough about this great horse and we will miss him on our ranch again this is Dash 10 year old Bay Gilding consigned by Orva Yoder Next up is lot number 10. This is R.T. Cinco. Consigned by Brandon and Shanda Tanoli. Here is a three-year-old black gilding. And he is black. He's got one white sock on him. He is R.T. Cinco. By Legendary One. Goes back to Custom Legend and Diamonds for Girls. Goes back to Custom Chrome, Dry Dock Bobby, Magic Treasure Twist, Banker's Diamond Girl. On the bottom side, he's out of Shining Oak Olena. Goes back to Kahuna King. And Doc's Tazzolina goes back to Shine Men. Doc's Wonder Money and Doc's Blue Boy Lena's Fancy Free. Here is a 2021 black gilding that has such a fun personality. If you're looking for that one that is tall, dark, and handsome, this is your guy. We have shown him in 4-H and took first at the county in the two-hand county fair in two-handed. 
with a whole life ahead of him. He's ready for someone to take him and finish him in their ways. Beginning with a great stop and a spin, he's ready to go in any direction. And is looking, if you're looking for an incredible teammate, don't show Brent Kelly because he, he's looking for an announcing horse. That would be one to look at. So again, this is R.T. Cinco. All right, well, let's introduce you to Dandy. Dandy is consigned by Sam Hatterley. Here's a five-year-old red roan mare. He is a half, she is a half-draft mare. She's 15'2 and 1,200 pounds. She's, she's got that flashy red roan paint and good, solid feet. Here is a gentle one that walks out nice in the mountains. She stands quiet and easy to get along with. She can lope circles. Pick up correct leads, can side pass and back up. And Sam has done a great job with her. Again, this is Dandy, consigned by Sam Hatterley, a five year old red roan mare. Half draft. All right, here we go. Lot number 12. This is Big Z, consigned by Sharp Performance Horses. Here's 11 year old Black Gilding. 15 to 1200 pound Gilding. He's 11 year old, half draft. That they've used to rope bulls at bull ridings. They've hunted on him, and he's done everyday ranch work. He is absolutely my go to when it comes to going out and gathering cows. He covers the country and travels out. My six-year-old daughter rides him all over the mountains with us. He rides around great for how big he is. He's the same horse after being turned out for months on end. I cannot say enough good about Big Z. He is one that the whole family can enjoy.
Next up, lot number 13. This is Snoop Dogg, consigned by Kelly Horses. Here's a six-year-old black gilling. Classy bat, black quarter pony with beautiful long mane and tail. He's cute baby doll head and neck. Swell is a great hip. He's six years old and has his whole life ahead of him. Maggie, my daughter, has been riding him for the past year, and all the girls and boys ask, or any of the girls and boys that get asked out on a date, they have ridden Snoop Dogg. If you want your kids to trail ride in style, then Snoop is your man. He has a nice walk, is excellent at following the trails, going through brush, water, etc. He can be lit the lead horse or follow right in line with the rest. He has been packed. He's dragged calves, roped the smarty, um, catch him, saddle him up, and go to town. Everyone will be looking at Snoop Dogg. He's cute as a button. And he's one that you'll want to, the kids will want to take to town. Again, this is a, a six year old quarter pony that has been right here in the valley, in Heber Valley. They've ridden him all over the mountains over here. And like I said, Maggie has ridden him quite a bit. Lot number 15, this is Jet, consigned by Ashley Vernon, a four-year-old sorrel gilding. Aces, Ace Jet Wood by Driftwood Jet goes back to Audacious Pepper, and Dude's Driftwood goes back to Audacious to a T. Pepper Baron Red, Cheyenne's Dude, and Little Orphan Sassy. On the bottom side, he's out of. Ace Red Dude goes back to do Buckskin Wood, goes back to do Andy Roan, which goes back to Cheyenne's Dude, Chip Straw Dude, Cheyenne's Dude, and Chip's Dandy Dunwood. So Jet is one of the most easy-going horses that you'll throw your leg over. I tease that he is bomb proof because seemingly nothing riles him. He rides the same whether it's a cold snowy morning or a hot summer day. He spent two summers loose on the range learning how to handle himself in the mountains. He has moved and sorted cows and is not bothered by the rambunctious border collies. You can take him off after a runaway cow and then gear him back to walk with no prancing in between. He will lead or follow on a trail and most importantly can separate from the group without causing a fuss. You can throw a rope off him, drag logs, carry a flag, water bridges. He can do just about everything. His bloodline traces back to Mr. Baron Red and the Pitzer Ranch. We're going to go to lot 19, Dave. 19. So this is Super Savvy from Running You Quarter Horses. Here is a three-year-old chestnut sorrel, so a sorrel mare. Super Savvy by Apache Blue Pine goes back to Blue Apache Warrior and Taylor's Poco Pine. And Happy's Warrior, Comet Catcher, Taylor Made Sundance, and Fast Pulls. On the bottom side, she's out of Savvy. No, 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 no. OSR Caddy Dual Pep. Miss Savannah Bell goes back to Caddish. Montana MS Dual Pep, Baron Sanita, and Ben Fiddle Watchin. So just a three-year-old colt, again consigned by Running You Quarter Horses. Shamus does a wonderful job with these horses. 
She is great confirmation. She's got a good mind, athleticism, and willingness. This Arl Miller with a flaxen mane and tail is a standout, born and raised in the steep mountains. She knows where her feet are. She has been used to doctor and drag calves all fall and winter. She's good with her rope and is very gentle. Loads and ties easily, good with her feet. She should finish around 15, 1, and 1,100 pounds. AQHA Ranching Heritage Incentive Eligible. She's going to make someone a nice rope horse, ranch horse, trail horse, or an awesome producing brood mare. Again, this is super savvy. Running you quarter horses. All right, our next one is lot number 16, consigned by Hughes Livestock. This is Skeed. Here is a six-year-old Palomino Gilding. He's 14'3 and 1,100 pounds. We watched this good-looking little Palomino horse in the roping preview. This is RCC See the Cat by Cat's Skeeter B. Goes back to Kawaska Cat. I whiz a Skeeter B, which goes back to Highbrow Cat. Miss Echowood, Skeets, Peppy, and Wiz or Wiz Out. On the bottom side, he's out of See the Night. Goes back to Circle C and Sassy Bikini. Goes back to Colonel Freckles, Sea Lightning Bard, Sassy Doc, and Hollywood Bikini. Here is a six-year-old Palomino. He's 100% sound. Skeet has been used on the ranch and has been rode in the mountains of Utah to gather cows. He is great in the mountains and on the trail. He will lead the pack, or if he needs to be in the back, he will follow and go the pace you want. Skeet is super sweet, and my eight-year-old girl has been, has been caught out on him bareback with no halter or bridle in the big pen. With four other horses, he didn't care. He just walked around with her. His lope is smooth and rocking chair. So smooth that you could fall asleep in it. Also, we've healed on him. We've dummy roped on him. He's been started on live cattle. He does great. He is calm as can be. He can one-handed neck rein. And you can saddle him and go. He is great to shoe. Again, that is Skeet. We did see him in the rope preview. So lot number 17, which will be coming in next, he is a scratch, the one in your catalog. You'll need to turn to your supplement sheet. All right, here we go. This is Buck, consigned by Steve Young. He's a seven-year-old buckskin gilding. This is Lafayette Red Buck by Robin's Red Gut Buck goes back to Two-Eyed Red Buck. Robin Too Happy, which goes back to Mr. Baron Red. I'm a Tyree. Eddie Hancock too, and Miss Robin Happy. On the bottom side, he's out of Tinker Smoking Rebel. Goes back to Smoking Cajun Rebel. Cool Tinker Bar and Smoking Reads TV TVO. Candy Scat Cat and Hookah's Cool Do Wayward Maid. Buck has it been there, done that horse. Whether you're looking for a ranch horse, a mountain horse, or your next head or heel horse, Buck is your guy from beginner riders to seasoned riders. We watched Buck a little bit earlier. Steve has started him just a little bit in the roping box. We watched him in the breakaway. So he's ready for that next step. If you're looking for one that finish out in the roping pen or if you're just looking for your next saddle partner to go down the trail 
Buck is your man. Again, this is lot number 17, consigned by Steve Young. Here we go. Next up is Simon, consigned by Clayton Knox. It is a four-year-old, 15-hand, Appaloosa Gilding. This is Mighty Pepinita. He is his favorite name. He's by Mighty White Dreamer, which goes back to Dream Lives On and Mighty Sally Lee. On the bottom side, he is out of R&R Pepinita Sugar, goes back to Mr. Salty Pepinita, and Stripper Foley. Simon is a laid back big old puppy dog. If you could, cr he would crawl up on your lap, sit on the couch if you'd let him. And he probably would. Four years old, he's real dark bay with a perfect blanket of that fancy made Appaloosa color. He will get you noticed. He's great to shoe, bathe, and saddle. He loves to be around people and to be messed with. Our eight-year-old son rides him and gets along good with him. He has mostly been used and ridden on the ranch and trail. He's very laid back, stays calm. He is a smooth mover and great to handle in the arena. He has a great one-handed neck rein, works off leg pressure, and is a big stop. We've gathered the longhorn on, longhorns on him in the pasture. We've tracked on him in the arena and rope and drug um, the hot hills on him. He has the ability for most events, but would be your lifelong companion. He's a special guy here, and a pleasure to be around. He's handled and started right. Next will be 19A. So 19A, this is Pretty Boy, consigned by Marquis Young. Here's a five-year-old bay gilding, 16 hands and 1,300 pounds. MDP, Buddy Boy by... Frost Jack goes back to Sun Frost Streak Ride goes back to Docs Jack Frost Prissy Klein Streak and Six and Miss Right Stuff on the bottom side he's out of Roses by Blue Boy goes back to Old Blue Boy 
Roses by Casey, which goes back to BMQ, Excalibur, MS Flying Pacific, and Cass Bar Beaver, Riker Rose Bar. Here is one that has sound and got perfect confirmation. He's soft and responsive, moves off your leg, neck rain, be collects beautiful. He's easy to brew around, great ground matter, great ground manners, no bad habits. He's been patterned on the barrels and started on jumps. Great in the mountains, will go all day long. Not the spooky type whatsoever. He is really ready to go in any direction you want to take him, whether it's barrels, English, Western pleasure, roping, take him. It's your pick. He's the hard. It's hard to find this kind of speed without the heat. He is one special dude that will catch everyone's eye anywhere you go. They use this horse a lot. If you know Marquis Young, they're into skijoring, and this is one of their skijoring horses that they pulled skiers with this winter. Next up will be lot number 20. This is TJ, consigned by A Bar J Horses. TJ is a five year old. 15-2 Gray Gilding. This is T.J. Joe Reeves by T.J. To Be Peppy goes back to T.J. Squeaky B. I'd Be Peppy too goes back to Jackie B. Squee Squeaky Joe Zero Little Sand Silver on the bottom side. It's going to be out of Miss Tuva Reeves goes back to Mr. Reeves. Miss Tough Monitor which goes back to Welcome Baker and Mr. Illuminator. TJ is a nice, stout, easy-made gray gilding. He's been used around cattle. He'll ride good in the arena. He's really solid outside on the trail or take him down the road. He is honest gilding. That will ride like one should. You can saddle him up and ride off with no worries. He is a nice moving gilding, easy to handle, easy to ride. He's good to on the ground, stands nice, good to shoe, hauls, travels great. Here's a good gilding that excels in ranch work, trail rides, and they've started roping on. Just a nice all-around using horse with no funny business. Lot 21, this is Brad, consigned by Van Kelly, ridden today by Thane Kelly. Here's 11-year-old Palomino Gilding, he's 13-1, 750 pounds. He is a cool quarter horse, Welch Cross Pony. He's small enough that his 10-year-old to throw his saddle on him, his stealth, but yet stout enough that an adult can ride him. He is quiet and willing to please. He will be 11 years old at the time of the sale. My 10-year-old has been riding Brad and chasing calves up the return alley of, at home. He is good around both mares and gildings, not a mean bone in his body. He's not as fast, so he would promote, so I wouldn't promote him as a rodeo athlete prospect. He is great on the trail. He crosses water. He's easy to trim and shoe, loads well, and hauls great. We have taken him to rodeos to just ride for the ride and to be with the other horses. He's a great companion pony and just a fun little guy to ride. Lay him off for a year and he will go right back to the way he was. He is smart and so take advantage of this for all those little kids that are coming up. So if you're looking for one that might be a 4-H pony, one with not a super ton of speed to be a rodeo pony, but one that's traveled that trail, Take a look at Brad.
See, he's standing posing for the camera. All right, next to go will be lot number 22. This is Sue, consigned by Three String Cattle. We watched this horse in the cutting pen as well as in the roping. Here's 11-year-old Palomino Gilding. 14 hands and 1,000 pounds. Dare to Sue is by a shiner named Shoe. Goes back to Shining Spark. And Doc Selena goes back to Genuine Doc, Diamond Sparkle, Doc Alina, and Starlet Segan. On the bottom side, he's out of Terry Darlin. Goes back to Terrace Catalyst. And Peppy's Fine Desire, which goes back to Doc Terry, Minix, Goldie, Freckles, Murata, and Peppy's Desire. Dare to Sue is a once-in-a-lifetime type of horse. He's got a, close to $75,000 in reigning cow horse earnings to back it up. He's standing at 14 hands, thir 11, er, at 1,000 pounds. And his handy, Sue has used, been used extensively around the ranch and in the arena. Sue has been hauled in the breakaway the past two years, has been used at high school rodeo. He's also an exceptional heel horse. If you are looking for a horse that is fancy broke with all the bells and whistles, here you go. So if you're looking for one for the rope pen or a high school rodeo horse, Sue's the one to be consigned by three string cattle. This is lot number 23, Buttermilk, consigned by ZW Rope Horses. Here is a six-year-old buckskin mare. It's a misprint on the front top of the catalog. This is a mare. She's 14-3 and has been consigned by ZW Rope Horses and horseshoeing. Before she came to us, she hadn't been used in almost a year, so don't let the grade mare deter you. She is a sweetheart. She has been a superstar from the day one, willing to learn and excel at her job because she has a beautiful stop and spin. We have done all aspects of ranch work on her from gathering cows to roping, doctoring, sorting, loading in trails on loading in the trailer on her. We have headed and healed on her. She loves to rope steers or just go out on a nice trail ride. This is a once in a lifetime horse. That she has enough go to make an excellent rope horse, but is also has the mind to be one of the most trusted horses in your pen. So let's not forget that she is beautiful. And again, Zeke wanted to show her a little bit more in the heading today. We didn't get the opportunity because of we were running short on time. But if you're looking for one, make sure to hop on ZW Rope Horses. Woodland Ranch, their Facebook page. They've been roping on this horse for the last little bit. She is beautiful. Next up is Lot 24 Teddy. This is consigned by Laurel Okasip. Here is a five-year-old Palomino gilding. This is Lily's Brogan. By Brogan Boonsmole goes back to Checks by Pepto Miss Prairie Shine goes back to Pepto Boonsmole Royal Holly Checks Plain Dual Nick and Miss Lily Shine on the bottom side out of Playing O Lily goes back to Playing in the Puddin Oki O Lily goes back to Freckles Playboy Smart Puddin Missing Oki and Doc O Lily Lily's Brogan or Teddy as they call him is a 2019 Palomino Gilding. This phenomenal horse is truly the complete package. He has the looks and personality, the ability to be anyone's once-in-a-lifetime horse. He really is a member of the family, from roping with dad to babysitting the six-year-old 
first time rider. He's happy and willing to do it all. He has grown up, or he has grown with our kids and been around all antics, including motorcycles, four wheelers, RC cars, go karts, tractors, dogs, and general chaos. You don't come across horses like this very often that just love people and love what they do. Teddy checks all the boxes. He is very pleasing, agreeably agreeable personality that will take him far in this world. He is wonderful on the trail. It doesn't matter if he's in the lead or in the back. He is content. He will cross water and deadfall with no problem. He has been ridden down the road and in traffic in the neighborhoods. Teddy is turning into becoming an exceptional heel and breakaway horse as we watched him today in the roping. So this is going to be one of those once in a lifetime type horses that is Teddy lot number 24 consigned by Laurel Okeson. This is lot number 25. This is Drifty, consigned by Russ and Edria Day. Here's a seven-year-old chestnut gilding. This is My Drifty Pinkster, goes by PCR Pink Cadillac, which goes back to Dash to Fame, my favorite lane. First down, Dash. Sudden Fame, Lanes Linster. And Favorita on the bottom side. He's out of Diamond Drift's Diamond Drift Kit, which goes back to Halo Dario. My Diamond Drift, which goes back to Wyo Kid Curry. Deep Water Ripple. My Blue Drift and Diamond Links Hancock. This is one that has been patterned in the barrels. Drifty he currently runs in the 2 and 3D barrels. He's been roped on the last couple of years and is roping training with Robbie Fajaris for the next few months. He's been ridden in the hills. He's good to haul and be around. Fast and athletic. He's paid it into the pink buckle and the ruby buckle for charities and Royal Crown eligible. He's also eligible for the Riata Buckle Breeders Challenge in Colorado. At the Colorado Classic Top Shelf. So again, currently he is running in the two and three Ds. We're actually going to set up some barrels here after our trail competition. And they're going to run him. So you kind of get a look at it, even though it's not a big pattern. Check, check. How many batteries? Two. You can go to the mailbox. Ma'am? You can go to the mailbox. 
mailbox. Check. All right. Sorry, I ran out of batteries. So going through the logs right now is Big Dan, consigned by Justin Martin. It's a 10-year-old gray gilding. It's dynamite buckskin. He is by the son of a buck, goes back to two-eyed red buck, which goes back to Mr. Baron Red. On the bottom side, he's Peppy Sam Badger Bread. So a little bit about Big Dan. He's been grown up on the ranch. They've headed and healed on him, literally thousands of calves, and been in the feedlot. Coming off the trail, trailer is lot number 27. This is Snack Pack. Consigned by Jaquel Wanstrom. Here's a 13-year-old, 14-hand, 1,100-pound gray gilding. He is Silver Pistol Prom by Gun Goes Boon. Goes back to Play Gun and My Angel of Blue. Goes back to Freckles Playboy, Miss Silver Pistol. And Peppy Sam Badger, Royal Blue Boon. On the bottom side, he is out of Smart Little Gray. He goes back to Smart. Gray and Smart goes by Doc's Moonbeam, which goes back to Smart Little Lena, Blue Lynx, Doc a Diamond, and 89ers Upstart. Snack Pack has been used on the ranch in all aspects of ranch work. He's been in the arena on the healing side of things. He has a really nice corner and will put you in the right spot. When we go outside, he is a really nice walk and moves off of leg pressure. Snack Pack will cross water, a bridge, wood or concrete. He is also the teeter-totter. He is the perfect size, so you don't have to lift your leg too high. But if you still feel that you need a fence or a rock or the trailer fender, Snack Pack will buddy right up to you. Snack Pack is easy to get along with and a great trail horse for anyone. So again, we have a buyer's clinic tonight at 5. Well, we wanted everybody to be here. Nope. This is lot number 28. This is Nash, consigned by Wade Davis. This is a misprint. Misprint in your catalog. This is a 4-year-old, not a 6-year-old. I think it says he's 3 online. He's worried he's going to hit his head. This is one big dude. Here is a handsome horse. He is Barbarant Quarter Horse Cross Gilly. We bought him as a yearling, and he is. we have done all asper, aspects of work on him. He is a big, kind eye and a gentle giant. From the first day we have broke him, he's saying 16 hands tall, and he has all the bone in the world. He is a brown roan and changes colors four times a year. Nash is the kind of horse everyone is looking for. He is smart, sure-footed, and big enough to carry any load. When it comes to training, Nash is soft in the bridle and moves off leg pressure. He neck reins, side passes, and a smooth lope. He's been raised in the rock country on the hill, rock hillside and has resulted in the ability to navigate through rough terrain. It has also given him great feet. 
He has solid black feet and good thick soles. He's trained several colts out of the we have trained several colts out of the same sire and we have had they've had great minds and are very trainable. We're confident that Nash is going to be a great riding partner for someone whether it's for pleasure or getting a job done. He will give you his all. He's probably just wondering what's going on. He doesn't load trailers inside the barn. And he keeps whacking his head on the top. So getting a big dude, a four-year-old, consigned by Wade Davis. Again, at 5 o'clock, Wade will be putting on our buyer's clinic, so we appreciate him coming to town and doing that for us. Slide back, he's going to let brother on. So again, if you're looking for one to go to the mountains, pack you all day, and look good doing it, here he is. Again, this is Nash, consigned by Wade Davis. Lot number 29, Dakota, consigned by Armo Horses as we bridle him up. This is a four-year-old Dunn Guilty. We watched him in the roping a little bit earlier. This is MDP, Guy's Butt Bar by Guy's Smoke and Mirrors. Goes back to Reckless Guy's and Feature of Magic goes back to Frenchman Guy, Frenchman's Guy, Reckless Angel, Woody's Magic, and St. Featurette. On the bottom side, he's out of Pretty Buck Barb goes back to Poco Dakota Doc and Poco Blackburn 137 goes back to Poco Dakota Buck prescribed by Bid King Cutter Jim and Poco Blackburn 36. Here is a fancy made one that is good to look at. He's good to ride guilty. He's the kind we all want to have in our corral. He's easy on the eye, built like one should be. He has all the brains and willingness disposition that you want in a gilding. He's very thick made. He's stout and good bone. He'll be a good one in the arena. Good to ride on the trail, on the ranch. He's been exposed to cattle and roping. He'll excel in the performance world if you want him. He rides like a champ. 
We are proud to offer this good gilding, has a great pedigree, lots of brains to match. Next up is lot number 31. This is Iceman, consigned by Hughes Livestock. Here's a five-year-old gray gilding. He's 15'1", 1,250 pounds. This is Play Guns Showdown. He's by Mr. Chevy Tough, goes back to Play Gun. Meter made the order, goes back to Freckles Playboy, Miss Silver Pestle, Pistol, Doc Alina, and Freckles... Matt Meter Maid on the bottom side. He's out of Sugar's Little Showdown. Goes back to Sugar's Joke. Pretty Little Showdown. Sunny Sugar. Tis Miss Yoke. Mr. Showdown Sugar. And Prairie's Pritter D88. He is 100% sound. Five year old. He does great in the mountains and pushing cows. He is great on the trails. Iceman has a nice slope. He's smooth as can be. We have also been tracking and roping the dummy on him. He gets along real well on the heading side. He will one-handed neck rein. My 10-year-olds have been riding him around the arena and the mountains and loves him. He's also a good one to catch in the big pens or small pens and in the arena. He is a horse that when he sees you, he wants to be with you. He also really loves kids. When he sees them, he walks up to them and so that they can give him a big hug. He will hug you back. He is the horse that will take care of you no matter what. Lot number 32. So again, lot number 32, this is Canelo. Consigned by Arrow Livestock. Here's a six-year-old Rome Gilding. Here's what Cole has to say about him. Canelo, meaning Roan, outshines all the other Roans with his teddy bear personality and calm demeanor. He steps up to the plate and does anything you ask him. Canelo won't let you down when he comes to roping, sorting, trail riding, or even just a ride around the block. He's 1,200 pounds and 15 three hands. He's big, stunning roan, rocking chair, low, and a great addition to Eddie's string. He is currently being used daily on the ranch, and you can find more about him at on their social medias at Arrow Livestock.
All right, next we have lot number 33. This is Peanut Butter, consigned by Robert and Maddie Piscitelli. Here's a six-year-old red done gilding. He's 15 hands and 1,000 pounds. This is Done It or Done Playboy by Playboy Stylish Doc. Goes back to RM Arizona Playboy and Stylish Tradition. Goes back to Freckles Playboy. Bar Docolina, Steady Tradition, and Stylish Play 90. On the bottom side, he's out of Colonel's Red Bell. Goes back to the Majestic Colonel's and Jackie's Red Bell, which goes back to Majestic Freckles. Bow Cross 2 by and TJ Willow Jack and Magic Red Bell. We want you to meet Peanut Butter, the equine sensation that's got more than just a spread. This four-legged comedian is not only gentle, calm, and perfect for the whole family, but he is practically a Swiss Army horse. Peanut Butter will make you question if he's part mountain goat, effortlessly navigating the peaks. He loads into the trailer like a horse with a VIP pass and can back out with the finesse of a dance move. This AQHA registered wonder doesn't just stop there. Peanut Butter is your all-in-one ranchero. He side passes like he's stepping on an invisible banana peel and picks up his leads with the precision of a synchronized swimmer. He's sled tracking. He's been packing out elks and herding cows consider him just the equine james bond of the wild west he crosses water in deadfall peanut butter will laugh in the face of most obstacle he's basically the bear grills of the horse world in short peanut butter is not just a horse he's a four-legged stand-up comedian a mountain trail mastero and your ticket to a lifetime partner of adventure so grab your slice of peanut butter and spread it around the world. Again, that is Peanut Butter consigned by Robert and Matty Piscitelli. Here is Rio. This is a supplement horse. This is 33A Rio. He is a 2019 Gypsy Quarter Bayron gilding. He is fancy Gypsy Quarter Cross with lots of look. Main and tail, he stands 14-3. He's registered in the Gypsy Sport Horse Association. He will ride around nice and collected, has a nice turnaround. He's been through town, is real good on the mountain trails and in the woods. We've had him since a year. he was a yearling. He's good with tarps, balls, and all types of stuff. He's a great all-around gilding that would fit a family well. Not too tall, still big enough to pack an adult. To be around. If you saw him in the open, they were flying the tarp around on this little horse. Again, this is Rio, a 2019 Gypsy Quarter Cross. Here we go with Chester is next. Here's a five-year-old Chestnut Gildy. They call him Chester. This is Outlaw Ranch's consignment. Ray Flakes is his name. He is by Little Pepto Ray. Goes back to Dual Ray, Little Pepto Gal, which goes back to Dual Pep, Nurse Ray, Pepto Boonsmo, and Freckles Olena on the bottom side. It's Roan Flakes, which goes back to Pepto Boonsmo and Smart Little Snowflake, Peppy Sam Badger, Royal Blue Boon, Smart Little Lena, and Way to Squeak. Here's a 15 hand tall. This is the first to meet you at your, the gate and be your friend. He is the heel horse for an open roper to get on and go compete, or a lowered number roper that can get on and enjoy. He has a big stop and will really show, he will really watch a cow. He is the perfect horse to go ride outside and gather cows or walk out up walk out up the trail. He is gentle all the way around. 
And he is super broke. He stops hard and will spin around. He has two years of professional training with J.D. Johnson Performance Horses and has been really working a cow, taking a cow down the fence and doing a reigning pattern. Nothing bothers, bothers Chester, and you can do just about anything on him. Again, we watched him in the rope horse preview quite a few times, whether it was in the healing or the breakaway, as well as we watched him cut a cow. So that is Chester consigned by Outlaw Ranch. Lot number 35, PB, consigned by Kelly Horses, a 12-year-old Gorilla Gilding. This is Davenport's Revenge. He is by B.C. Burnham Pretty Boy, goes back to Blackburn Pretty Boy. Blackburn Lady Rose goes back to Mr. Blackburn 41. Pretty Lady Georgia, Mr. Blackburn 41, and Nippy Bar Doll. On the bottom side, he's out of B.C. Market Blackburn by Blackburn Pretty Boy and B.C. Cisco Martin Market. P.B. is the sort of pretty boy and boy that a guy would want. He is pretty. He's got the Gorilla color and with all the nice matching black points. He's foundation bred with Mr. Blackburn all over his papers. He has a long mane and tail that touches the ground. P.B. rides great and is gentle for the entire family. He has been ridden in all type by all types in all ages he is easy to catch and saddle and has no weird habits pb is really good on the trail he knows his way around the brush in the rocks and in the obstacles he can lead or follow or go alone has a nice slow lope neck reins tucks his head and backs up pb is also broke to drive and pulled the buggy here's a gilding with all the right color right age and is gentle Here is Flash. This is consigned by Orva Yoder. Here is a seven-year-old paint gilding, 15 two hands. As he rides in with three of them. He is just one of those horses that will go anywhere you point him. He is one that you can relax on and enjoy the ride. He is rock solid in the steep mountain, crosses downfall, has been in snow up to his belly and there's no water too deep you can ride this gentle gilding when he went when you want to once a day or once a month or once a year and he'll be the same he has had all levels of riders on him he is very nice soft in the mouth knows his commands leg pressure has a slow lope and it has seen about everything there is to see on the trails flash is also broke to drive and has been on the state highway down main street and goes great in traffic he has an outstanding barn manners will greet you at the gate every morning shoes loads and clips great we can't say enough good about him flash consigned by orva yoder Again, thank you to all the great vendors that we have here with us. We've got Circle Dot Customs. We've got Burn Saddlery out there. Cowgirl Heaven will be here shortly if they're not here already. Also, Broken Z Saddlery, as well as Audrey Austin. We've got Cahill's Rope Holders. We've got Keelix will be here. Mariah's Jewelry. All kinds of great vendors here with us this weekend.
Up next, we have Chester. Chester's consigned by Josh Hunter, a six-year-old buckskin gilding. This is Bartender's Galeo by Bartender's Red Buck goes back to Two-Eyed Red Buck. Dusty Eyed Donna goes back to Mr. Baron Red and I'm a Tyree. Two-Eyed Bartender and Sonny's Donna Dust. On the bottom side, the Gala Shining Sparkle goes back to Shining Gallo by Baron's Eyed Doll and then back to Gallo Del Cielo, Shining Ray, Baron Golden Jack and Dusty Eyed Donna. Here's a 15 to 1300 pound gilding. That is amazing. In and out of the arena, Chase or Chester is extremely versatile. Anything you want to do a horseback, you can do on him. He is safe, gentle, beautiful, and an easy keeper. He is mature and honest. He is easygoing temperament, allows you to adapt to all levels of riders of experience. Chester is talented enough for a top hand and quiet enough to build novice riders confidence. He has fancy spins, a deep sliding stop. Chester is a gorgeous mover with smooth and fluid transitions. He is user friendly and very uncomplicated to ride. His inquisitive personality makes him one for all times and favorites. His fabulous disposition makes him a joy to be around in the barn or on his back. He is the first to meet you at the gate. He's great to shoe. He's a great traveler. Nothing really bothers him. They've had him shown in ranch riding classes. And he has the talent to make somebody a high-end head horse. Lot number Lot number 38 is getting off the trailer. This is Woody, a four year old Palomino gilding TJS2 Ibo. This is. Oh, he's not papered. Oh, so these papers, he's great. I don't know where I got those. That's my fault. So he is great. Woody is gorgeous. 2020 half draft Palomino gilding. He is one that you want to throw all your kids on, the ultimate family horse. He is gentle, sweet, in your pocket, and very forgiving. Love on him and put him to work. He is the same horse, weighing in at 1,100 pounds and 15 two hands high. He is easy to handle and you can throw just about anything or anyone on him this horse is easy in the arena setting he can handle anything you throw at him on the trails and part of life he is not spooky or reactive and aims to please water deadfall machinery is not a problem he stands tied all day can plow any trail you point him down good for the farrier loads right in the trailer woody is a fantastic in a herd setting and has the hardest feet anyone could ask for. So shoes or no shoes, this boy will never skip a beat.
Lot number 39 is Whiskey, consigned by A Bar J Horses. So Whiskey is a five-year-old Palomino Gilding CTS Whiskey check. He's by Awesome Whiskey, goes back to Awesome, awesome Cougarin. Diamond Jack Coyote goes back to Cougarin, Chicka Dallas. Definitely a done it. My Spooky Ode. On the bottom side, you go is by She's. My Paycheck goes back to Expect to be Paid, Docs Way Out Links which goes back to paid by chick expecting the best way out son of a dock here is a gentle good gilding that people are going to be happy to be around this good gilding was very quiet you can ride him every day or on the weekends he will ride the same we watched him a little earlier in the open as they pulled that big tarp around he's done been just about everyone Really to make some new owner very, very happy. He shoes, he hauls, he loads, he has great manners, good ground manners. Doesn't care what's running behind him or around him. Next up is lot number 40. This is Mouse, consigned by Three String Cattle Company. Here's a five-year-old Gray Gilding, TRR, Missin Charlena. By TRR, Big Iron goes back to Play Gun, Miss and Dottie goes back to Freckles Playboy, Miss Silver Pistol, Miss and Cash on the bottom size, TRR, Lena's Got Pep goes back to Pepsid, as well as Charlena, which goes back to Pep to Boone's Mom, Brazos Link, Smart Little Lena, and Lena San Lana. Mouse is a nice five year old gilding, stands 15 2 and 1,000 pounds, is absolutely enjoyable for the whole family. Mouse has been used extensively on the ranch, doctoring yearlings, dragon calves, and all other aspects of ranch work. Mouse has also been hauled on and a breakaway horse for the past two years. He is ready to be hauled. Mouse checks off all the boxes when it comes to great confirmation, athletic ability, eye appeal, good to handle, and very safe for the whole family. Don't miss out on this one. That is Mouse. Also remind everybody that there are vendors here with us as well as today at 5 o'clock there's a buyer's clinic and we invite everybody to be here at 7 o'clock for our annual tax sale. All new tack. We've got some great, great items to outfit a new horse that you're going to buy tomorrow. Lot number 41 is Casino. Dave and Jody Thackeray, this is a five-year-old gray gilding. CDP Pet Golden Drop is by CDP Matador, which goes back to Bet on Me 498, some kind of playgirl, which goes back to Smart Little Lena, Bet Your Blue Boons, Freckles Playboy, and Doc -a Lady. On the bottom side, it's Ike's Teardrop, goes back to Ike Stripped in Pine, Golden Desert Queen, which goes back to Pine Saul, Ike's Hancock, Starbet, C. Ed, and Kudo Susie. Made a fancy pants, get her done, solid flashing five year old gilding dream horse. Casino is a pleasure ride, fantastic in the mountains, gathers trails experienced in the ranch work. Easy to rope on, brandings can work a cow, hauling, shoeing, bathing. He is easy to be around. Has a five year old. Again, thank you to Dave and Jody Thackeray consigning Casino.
Lot number 42 will be Smalls, consigned by Darren Hughes. Here's an eight-year-old chestnut gilding. Mate Rockin' Ricky by Rockin' W goes back to Dual Ray, and Boone San Kitty goes back to Dual Pep. Nurse Ray Highbrow Cat and Boone San Sally on the bottom sides is Animate by Smart Mate. Goes back to Two Dots Coyote. Which goes back to Smart Little Lena, Freckles Playmate, Doc Coyote, and Miss Doc Aloha. Mates Rock and Ricky, a.k.a. Smalls. Here's an eight-year-old gilding that has been shown in the cutting. Stands 14'2", 1,100 pounds. They call him Smalls. We watched him cut a little bit earlier. Smalls has been in the arena and a money earner competing in cowboy or er, in the cutting as well as cowboy mounted shooting. He's also been on several hunting trips and trail rides. That's lot number 42, Smalls, consigned by Darren Hughes. Lot number 43, this is Ferris. Ferris is a gentle draft cross gilding. He has had 30 rides as a two-year-old then was turned out on the ranch for two years. While I was serving my mission, first ride after two years was like I never left. No buck, no spook, no silly behavior. Been my main ranch horse, or been my main horse on the ranch. He's 15'1 and 1,300 pounds. Again, this is Ferris, consigned by Range Martin. Well, look at that. You kiss at him a little and he'll come right to the trailer. Again, Ferris consigned by Range Martin, a four-year-old paint. Draft cross gilding. Next to go is going to be lot number 44A. This is Caddy, consigned by Rhett Nebaker. Watch this horse as well in our rope horse preview. Here's a four-year-old Sarl Gilding. This is Caddy's ATM by Caddy Hawk. Goes back to Highbrow Cat and Scarlet Dance, which goes back to Highbrow, Hickory, Smart Little Kitty, Peppy Sam Badger, and Chicka Lynx. On the bottom sides, it's ATM Player, which goes back to Lizzie's Got a Player. Another Tornado Mate goes back to Freckles Playboy, Lizalina, and Smart Mate, and Hickory's Tornado Rio. Here is a four-year-old gilding that has a big future. This horse is eligible for the Royal Crown, the Riata Buckle, and more. He is paid and in and ready to win on. Caddy is one of the most athletic horses I have ever rode. He's cowy with a huge stop. He's been started and coming really nicely in the heel side as well as in the breakaway. We'll continue roping on him till sale day. The arena isn't the only place that this horse will please you. He's been in the mountains and done all aspects of ranch work. You can give this horse two months off. Then get back on him, it doesn't affect you. Throw a saddle on and you won't miss the step. Again, this is lot number 44, a caddy consigned by Rhett Nebaker. And again, we watch this horse today in the roping.
Lot number 45, this is Bandit. Consigned by RMO Horses. Here's a six-year-old 15-1 black gilding. He is a really nice draft cross gilding. He's nice, easy to ride, gentle to saddle up. We'll ride the same every day. He's got all the chrome in the world, big full mane and tail. And built just the right size. He's stout and real good feet and bone. We'll pack a load if needed, but we'll ride around like a quarter horse should. When asked, he's been on the trail in the water, crosses water, no spook. He's been rode on the road by traffic and to town. He's a good gilding that is good age, no nonsense, just get on and ride. He's got great manners, respects the space, is easy to brush, shoe, stand while he's being washed. Here's a gilding that is a been there, done that. You're looking for one that's got all the great features and is pretty. This is Bandit, consigned by RMO Horses, a six-year-old black gilding. Next up will be lot number 47, Jasper. Here is a Sorrel Mule. Consigned by Chance Provost. Here's a nine-year-old Sorrel Mule that has enjoyed all aspects of the ranch. He's done all the sorting and ranch work, including roping and dragging calves, trail riding and packing. Jasper is easygoing, carries flag, plays with the ball, tarps, and will come when called. Again, 47 in the catalog is a scratch. This is on your supplement sheet. This is Jasper, consigned by Chance Provost. So up next is going to be lot number 46. This will be Senorita. Consigned by Wade Davis, here's a four-year-old Palomino mare. 15 hands, 1,250 pounds. Hot Shot Senorita by Hey Hot Shot goes back to PC Frenchman's Heyday and BC Sashi Dash, which goes back to Sunfrost. Casey's Charm, Dash to Fame, and Up to Trouble. On the bottom side, he, she is out of Cat Guy, Why Our Tongue. Goes back to... Smooth as a cat, Frosty Little Lena. Goes back to Highbrow Cat. She's pretty smooth. And Smart Little Lena, Queen Glow Selino. So if you're looking for a little mare that you can go to work on right now and use and then one day turn into a brood mare, this would be a mare for you. She's got running speed on the top. She's got the cow bread on the bottom. So cow smart and running. She's athletic. We watched her in the roping. So they call her Senorita. She was born on Cinco de Mayo. She's out of a 1D barrel horse producing. Grandpa. 
So there's not much that Senorita can't do. We showed her last year in the Utah Rain Cow Horse Youth Boxing. We have also been team roping on her. She can rope both ends, head and heels. She's great to handle on her and different directions from ranching, sorting, barrel racing, and even trail riding. She spins, slide stops, and can cut a cow. So she's got the pedigree, like we, Wade said. She's got the pedigree to be a cow horse as well as fast enough. If you're looking for one that could be a rodeo type horse, that is Senorita. This is Captain, consigned by Orva Yoder. He's a five-year-old black gilding. He is trained to ride and drive. If you're looking for a great trail horse that can handle any trail with ease or gather cattle in the fall through rushing mountain streams, he has been there. Captain has great personality, does great in English or Western. He does good in the arena with leads and leg pressure. He's soft in the bit, has an extended trot, a slow lope, he's good looking gentle attitude no bad habits he's a favorite on our ranch and we are excited for him he shoes loads clips and we will miss him Next up, we have Swagger. This is lot number 49, Russ and Edria Day. Can sign this one. Here's a six-year-old Sorrel Gilding, Cadillac Swagger by PCR Pink Cadillac. Dash to fame, my favorite lane goes back to first down dash. And sudden fame, as well as Lane Leinster and Favorisita. On the bottom side is Zip Adelia's Queen goes back to Easy Illusion, Badella Blast. And goes back to pivot point rocking queen mr bold merit and kippadelia swagger runs in the one to two d barrels he won first at the ubra maturity fifth in the average running in the 15 seconds in salina has been lightly roped on the last couple of years going to have him in roping training with robbie for harris for a couple months before the sale. So he's been in that rope horse training. He's good to haul and beat around. He's been paid into in the pink buckle, the ruby buckle. Future Fortunes Royal Crown, top shelf, eligible for the Breeders' Challenge Colorado Classic Riata Buckle. So again, lots of great video of these horses. They've been using them. We watch horse number 49, Swagger. They roped on him just a little bit today. But a horse that's ready to run in that 1 and 2D barrels. So barrel racers, take a look. And make sure to stop in and visit with Russ and Edra. Now, in your book, if you have a book, Lot 50 is a scratch. But if you've got your supplement sheet, Lot 50 will be your next horse. 
We've got him online as well. This is Boots, consigned by A Bar J Horses. Here is a four year old Sorrel Gilding. And wow, is he a looker. If you're looking for one with four white socks, Boots is your man. Check him out. Fancy, chromed up Sorrel Overo Gilding. He's got all the looks that you could ask for. Four high socks, big ball face, and a lot of shape. He's got a strong pedigree. He's a grandson of one of the leading reigning sires. Gonna, gonna trash ya and rides, rides like one should. He knows all the maneuvers. He started right from the beginning. Good stop. Nice turn around and easy loper. He, this gilding will be able to go whatever direction that you want him to in the reigning ranch versatility rope trail pleasure show or whatever you want him to do. He's good minded, he's gentle, he's easy to ride. Check him out. And like I said, he's got lots of chrome on him. Big, good looking sorrel horse. They call him Boots from Abar J Horses. Next up will be Homer, consigned by Pete Polson. Here is a six-year-old Bay Gilding, 16-hand, 1,100 pounds. Homer for Marlowe by Walk of Homer. Goes back to Bully Bully on special effort in strike and six on the top side. On the bottom, he's out of Mi Li Will Miss Marlowe. Goes back to Wine for Times and Monty Lux and Peppy's in turn. Homer of Marlowe, a.k.a. we call him Homer. He's a 2018 Bay Gilding. He's been used to gather and sort cattle. He's been used around bucking horses and has a great mind. He's wise beyond his years. We've used him at summer rodeos all summer long. And they are as a pickup horse. They've been heading and healing sears on him, and he is excellent. They started running the barrel pattern, and he's showing some potential. He's got some talent. They packed out elk on him all fall, and he handled it like a champ. He's an all-around horse, one for the family to enjoy. Again, Pete and Mandy, they own a rodeo company, Circle J Rodeo Company. So they, like I said, this horse has been hauled a lot of miles. He's seen a lot of things, been to rodeos. They've been around bucking horses and bulls. Started him in the roping pen. This is Homer, and signed by Pete and Mandy Polson. Next up will be lot number 52. This is Chief, consigned by Orva Yoda. Here's a five-year-old buckskin gilding. It's 12, three hands tall. Chief is a little smaller horse and has the heart and mind of a big one. He's great on mountain trails. He's in the arena, on the road, and even through town. Chief makes a great horse. Citizen in our barn. He's stout, handy size, makes him a great go-to guy for the young and the aged. He's also handy under harness. He's been used on the state highway, taking the children 
to and from school. Chief is the same every day and easy on the eyes with an easy going attitude. He would be a great, perfect 4-H or step up horse for a young cowboy or cowgirl. The Yoders, they love him and they are glad to offer a good one here at the sale. This is Chief. He's consigned by the Orva Yoder family. Next up is lot number 53. This is Charlie, consigned by Jaquel Wanstrom. Here's a five-year-old Sorrel Gildy. This is Just Stylin' Coyote. Out of Just a Coyote, goes back to Just a Genuine Jack. Shady Joe Coyote goes back to Genuine Ombre and Coyote's Mim. On the bottom side, he's out of Terra Style, which goes back to Playing Stylish and Shiny Terry, which goes back to Doc Stylish Oak and Shining Spark. Here is a 2019 Sorrel Gilding Charlie. He's been used on the desert doctoring, weaning, branding, and in the arena on the hillside. He's been started in the breakaway as well as tie down. We have enjoyed the talent he has showed. Er, we have enjoyed the town that he has showed me and everything that they has done that they have done on him and he they continue to do. He's easy to haul, bathe, and catch if you're looking for a horse to be your next number one or one to be in the practice pen that you want to look easy that's easy on the eyes. Here is a five-year-old Sorrel Gilding. This is Charlie and signed by Jaquel Wanstrom. Judge says, let's go. Lot number 54, this is Jazzy. Consigned by Dara Simons. He's a five-year-old, 14 2000 pound Bay Roan gilding. This is Spoon Straight Travelina. By Spoonsful Serendipity goes back to He's a Pepto Spoonful. Straight Holly Dippity, Holly Dock and Dippity which goes back to Pepta Boone's Mole, Miss Smarty Ray, straight from Texas, and her serendipity. On the bottom side, this is Travelina's Straight Chick by Travelina and Straight Freckled Chick, which goes back to Docalina and Bar Socks Babe, Mr. Big Heart, and Straight Hot Chick 2. Here's a five-year-old APHA registered Gilding 14-2 Bay Roan. We found him in South Dakota this last fall and just knew he'd be a great fit right here in this sale. He is going very well in the arena, trotting and loping circles. He should he flexes at the pole. Well, he backs up straight. We have started him tracking the dummy and been roping the lead steer. 
with his breeding. He's going to be eating cows up. He is a great mind and going to be a very nice hill horse, in my opinion. He's been ridden in the mountains, knows his way through the brush and over the deadfall. He handles a pack saddle well, although the way he travels, I like riding him better. Come ride him and see for yourself. Again, Gareth Simons, been a consigner here for the last few years, always bringing us some great horses. And he has not faulted on this one. We watched Jazzy a little bit earlier in our rope horse preview. Like we said, this horse has the potential to make somebody a nice little heel horse. You just need to take that extra step. Lot 54A, this is Bullet consigned by Sharp Performance Horses, shown today by the one and only Cash Sharp. Bullet is a super broke gentle gilding that anyone can ride. Cash, he's 13 year old, right here. He's been riding him the last two years. He started as a head horse, does not get excited in the box and it won't take much for you to finish him out. Bullet has been all over the mountain. He crosses water in deadfall with no problems. We have had anyone ride him from my two-year-old all the way up to beginner adults. You can leave him off a few months at any time and catch him. He's the same horse when you last rode him. He's one that the whole family can enjoy. Again, this is Bullet. He had an eight-year-old consigned by Sharp Performance Horses. 15 won 1,100 pounds.
All right, just getting off the trailer is going to be lot number 55. This is Happy for Cat from Dundon New Livestock. Happy for Cat is by OSR Caddy Dual Pep. Goes back to Caddish and Montana MS Dual Pep, which goes back to Highbrow Cat and Mr. Dual Pep. On the bottom side, Happy for Socks goes back to Four Gill and Four Four Socks, which goes back to White Lightning Ike and Blue Apache Warrior. So here is one that has been ranch raised right here with Janice at the Running U Livestock Ranch. She's very athletic. She loads great. She's good with her feet. She's from one of the top producing mares in their program and one of the most sought after sires. She is AQHA Ranching Heritage Incentives eligible. She's got an amazing pedigree. She tries hard and is the type of horse that wants to please. She is a three-year-old bay mare consigned by Running You Livestock. That's lot number 55, Happy for Cat. This is lot number 56, consigned by ZW Rope Horses and McConkey Ranch out of Altamont. He's nine years old. He is a gray gildy. 2015 model is registered with American Quarter Horse Association. Has done everything from pole bend to barrel race to breakaway to team roping. They've done everything on the ranch on him. He has rope, Dr. Yearlings, loaded bulls and cows in the trailer, and all has been done within 13, with a 13-year-old girl riding him. He is awesome in the arena and out of the arena. He would make a great trail horse and a junior rodeo horse. His name is High Perspective. He's out of Skip Perfe per per Perceptive and Skip -a Koenig, and on the Classic Skipper and Skip Gold Pie, along with Hookies Canock and Skip Adele the Star. He stands for the farrier and is just as gentle, kind horse as you want to be around, and you will not regret having this beautiful gray gilding in your krill. This is number 57. Richard is consigned by Outlaw Ranch. He's a five-year-old uh, sorrel gilding. His name, his registered name is Linus Ryan. He's had a little Pepto Ray, goes back to dual Ray, goes back to dual Pep. And on the bottom side, smart little Lena Bell, goes back to smart little Lena, goes back to Doc Alina and smart Peppy. This horse has everybody looks is what everybody is looking for. He's the perfect size, he's 15-1. Anybody can get on and enjoy him. If you wanna go on the trail, he enjoys, uh, he is very broke. And if you want a rope, he's the perfect switch ender. 
He has been one on the heading and healing side. The AQHA World Show Qualifier, Level 2 and 3 healing. Top 10 finisher in Level 2 healing. He'll do whatever you want him to do. And he has been trained by J.D. Johnson of Performance Horses since he was two years old. He is broke as broke as well as you, you can find one. This is Richard from Outlaw Ranch. Next is number 58, this is Oho, consigned by Stetson Merrill. This is a six-year-old, a gray gilding. Uh, he's bay gilding. Oho is a 15-2, uh, 1,300-pound horse. Oho has been my go-to-do ranch gilding for the last two years. He's done just about everything you can imagine on the ranch. He has also been in the rodeo arena quite extensively. They've used him as a pickup bronc and bulls. He also is an exceptional head and heel horse and breakaway horse. Leaves the box flat and hard every time and knows his job well. Don't miss out on this good gilding. He is a great gilding, but he is an outstanding gilding. Oho, consigned by Stetson Merrill. This is lot number 59. This is Hollywood. Audrey Austin is the consigner. This horse is 11 years old, 16 hands. Palomino Gilding and uh, the pedigree on this horse is outstanding. Hollywood Chalker is his name out of Spirits of Hollywood. Goes back, he's a smooth done out of Hollywood Dunnett. On the bottom side, Handy Toy goes back to U.S. Power Toy Sam, back to Miss Dandy Bar and Powerful Kate. Hollywood is a beautiful all-around 11-year-old gilding. His versatility, his gentleman, does not, uh, does it all from outside of the arena to inside the arena. Team roping as well as sorting, ranch roping, loading, leading, and moving cattle in every kind of terrain. Not only is he sure-footed in all conditions, but he's also gentle for anyone to ride a family horse supreme. 
At 16 hands, this friendly sweetheart is sure to meet you at the gate and be the one that you want to ride each and every day. Turns around, backs out, turns uh, in trailers, washes, clips, crosses water, and other obstacles. He isn't spooky. He's great to shoe and saddle with phenomenal ground manners and patience to boot. Hollywood will be the same horse today as he is six months from now. That is Hollywood, consigned by Audrey Austin. We're looking for lot number 60, Roscoe. Roscoe, number 60. Go to 61. This is number 61, this is Kit Kat. Dylan Hoffman consigned this horse to us. This horse is only four years old. He's 15'1", 1250, weighs 1,250 pounds, red roan gilding. Kit Kat is a four year old. He is uh, an exceptional three year old, he was an exceptional three year old gilding and his sire by the Aleutia Stallion known as Hashtag. With an impressive pedigree, Kit Kat carries the legacy of greatness designed to leave his mark on the world of performance roping. Beyond his pedigree and lineage, he is uh, just as nice as he is to look at. His solid build, is si he has a size zero shoe, reflects his remarkable athleticism and makes him the force to reckon with. He's out of hashtags and The last all-star out of metallic cat and dual ray tag goes back to highbrow cat, dual cat and highbrow cat on both sides. So this is a really, really nice gilding. That's number 61, Kit Kat, consigned by Dylan Hoffman. Our next consignment is Juice, consigned by Mark Bullthorpe. This horse is 15 years old. He's a bay gilding. He's, uh, his name is Tell Me I'm Your Choice. Out of instant choice, goes back to Doc's Hickory, goes back to Doc Bar. On the bottom side, Spunage Smoke goes back to Linus Talassus out of Doc Alina. So there is a well-bred horse. Tell me I'm tell me I'm your choice. Uh, Juice is a 2008 AQHA gilding by the five million dollar sire SR Instant Choice, who was the son of the inaugural NCHA Super Stakes champion Stylish Lynx. He's 14 2 tall and great for any level of wide rider, including kids and beginners. He has done just about everything. We've used him on the ranch, branding and moving cows, team sorting, turn back horse in a cutting pen. He's done it all. He's super broke and soft in the face and gentle to be around. He is more than a push button. He's just a push button horse right here. And he's sound and ready for your program.
Number 63, Faith, are you here? Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Sixty-four, are you here? Sixty four A. Are you here? Okay. Next we go with number sixty five. This is Casino. Consigned by Casey Weston. Six year old Bay Gilding. Casino is very fancy ranch horse that you can do anything on him. He has been used in all aspects of ranch work. You can go gather, doctor, brand calves, ship on him. He's a pleasure to be around and ride. Casino is the kind of horse that will match ability of ride of the rider, and he's broke enough to go in any direction. He, his name is Missing My Whiskey. Goes back to Genuine in Irish, goes back to Patty Irish Whiskey, goes back to Dash for Cash, Ramblin' Flirt, and Dockle Dynamite. There is a nice gilding, and if Casey owns him, you know that he's gonna be broke. Uh, because he does ride and use these horses a lot. We sent a horse to him a couple of three years ago and uh, did a fantastic job. We sold that horse down at the sale in Las Vegas at the NFR. Did a fantastic job. Lot number 66 is sparked by Rhett Nebaker. Here's a five-year-old, 1,100 pound, sorrel gilding. The horse's registered name is Royal Little Buzz. He's out of Rise and Shine Jack, goes back to Shining Spark, goes back to Genuine Dock, and on the bottom side, Rowdy's Little Girl, goes back to Rowdy in Hollywood, goes back to Rowdy Yankee. This is a ranch horse deluxe right here with a stout, strong build a level head, and an athletic body. You can accomplish all of your ranch work you need. Sparks is a five-year-old and, and wants to please you. He stands 14'2", weighs 1,100 pounds, and he's always in your back pocket and will meet you at the gate. He's the first one to be caught and will continue working with Spark on a roping until sale day. And don't miss out on this amazing rope.
All right, we're next. This is lot number 68. This is Johnny. Brought to you by Arrow Livestock. He's a six-year-old buckskin gilding. His registered name is Velvet French. He's out of pale velvet. Goes back to pale lender. Goes back to pale baca. On the bottom side, Wagner Ranch 55 and Rio Concho out of absolute Penelope. This horse weighs 1,000 pounds and it stands 15 hands. This paper gilding is your new go-to horse. Go -to horse. He has been trained on the ranch and excels in all forms of ranch work, roping, cutting, sorting, you name it, he's done it. Johnny loves mountain pack trips and trail rides, and he is tough while still looking flashy and reliable. He is currently to go on a daily ride each and every day at the ranch. Don't miss your opportunity on this nice big buckskin gilding. This is Johnny from Arrow Livestock. All right, next we have number 69. Here's what everybody's looking for. This is Rico, consigned by Rad Riley Munns. He's four years old is all. He's a thousand pound, he's a paint gilding. He's out of Lex Light, or his name is Lex Lightning, out of Blarney Stone Coco, out of Gold Rush. And he is registered in the Gypsy Vanner uh, registration. He has size and talent, training, a great temperament. Not only is Rico gorgeous, but he is also perfect size for anyone to ride. He has a laid-back personality and is fun to rope on. He is a great cowboy horse who, will, who is hit at all brandings. Rico is an outstanding and confident trail horse. This gilding has seen a lots of work and does lots of things. He is currently and confidently being ridden alone in the mountains. He will go any direction you want him to go. Or in the group on a trail ride. Rico crosses logs, waters, and will go anywhere you ask. Rico is the entire package. This is Rico, consigned by Riley Buns number 69.
Lot number 70. This is Boots by Jaquel Wanstrom. Four-year-old Red Roan Gilding. This is a grade. Boots is a grade gilding that has been worked on the ranch this spring and winter in the feedlot. Boots has been a colt that just takes to everything you take put him to. He has a great opportunity. We've loved this colt and he moves off leg pressure. Well knows uh, how to stay calm in tight situations and can really watch a cow. Boots is sure-footed, knows how to track a cow and handle a rope. Seventy one, are you here? Next is lot 71. This is Scotty, consigned by Dan Robinson. He's a seven-year-old gilding. Sorrow gilding, his registered name is Macon Scotty. He's out of mo Macon Moves, goes back to first down cash, goes back to dash for cash. On the bottom side, Lane's Liberty Bar, goes back to Lane's Lester, goes back to Lester's House 73. This uh, gilding stands 16-3. Scotty was born and raised on the place, his sire, and he has a speed index of 95. The offspring earning is $2.8 million, and Scotty's dam is an own daughter of Lane's Lester, goes back, uh, who had a speed index of 101. The offspring earning of $1.8 million. Scotty is bred to make a top barrel horse. He is really smooth and a smooth mover has a good neck rein and has a great stop and move over leg pressure. He is easy to catch, load, haul, and shoe. Scotty has been used under or during the hunts, ponying horses and also a pack horse. He's very familiar with rough terrain and is very sure-footed. Okay, we are ready with lot number 72. This is Buzz, consigned by Paige Gibbons, a six-year-old Bay Gilding, 1,200 pounds. Buzz is one of a kind, a blood bay, half draft, and makes him stand out of the crowd. He weighs around 1,200 pounds with a big hip and strong shoulders. This horse will take you anywhere with no questions asked. 
He is a hard worker and a loving personality, and he can do anything you want him to. He rides beautifully in the arena with a floating trot. He is soft to ride. He walks and trots and lopes real easy. This horse is an easy keeper and requires no maintenance. Buzz would make an excellent and excels in discipline you want. He can ranch, uh, work on the ranch, trail ride, family horse, anything you want. He could even be an English horse. This horse just looks and can put you in the winner circle. All right, next we have lot number 73. This is Stetson. Marquise Young can sign this little brown gelding. He's four years old. He's 12.2 hands, 650 pounds. Stetson is a very special pony. From his unique color, sweet temperament, and ability to do everything in a full package, this four-year-old is outstanding. He takes care of the kids each and every time you go out there. Hook him up to a wagon or they can drive them by themselves. He goes to ponds and picnics and he loves fishing. He will lay down, sit like a dog, and is good in the saddle. Being a perfect size, he can go with the mountain, go mountain riding with the big horses and you can keep him there with the children. This is one of a kind. You do not want to miss this horse. Seventy four, are you out here? Lots of they can. All right, we go with our next lot. This is lot 75, and this is Cricket, consigned by Pete Polson. This little horse is 14 years old. He's a buckskin mare. Cricket is a grade buckskin pony that is about 14 years old. 
She has a nice little mare. Here is a kind, kind little mare. She has been used in the rodeos this summer, pushing calves out in and out of the arena. She pulls the cart and is fun to drive. The kids love her and does, she does a great job in teaching them how to ride and how to drive. She is a great size and that doesn't mean that she is small in heart because she'll stay right with the big ponies and the big horses. We've watched this horse, little horse at the rodeos lots and lots of times and he does everything you want him to do or her to do. There is a nice pony. Next is lot number 76, Miss Piggy, consigned by L or ZW Rope Horses and Horseshoeing. Five-year-old Buckskid Mare. The registered name is Lance Mark Magic Bar. Goes back to Firewater Lane, goes back to I'm Alive Firewater, goes back to Firewater Fit. On the bottom side is Gail's uh, magic Bar goes back to Blue Mountain Magic, goes back to Blue on Blue Magic. If you're looking for someone or some horse that'll do it all, here's Miss Piggy. She has been a fun horse to have around the place. She is so lovable and just wants to be with people. She started, uh, we started her as a two-year-old and she's been great ever since. Not a whole lot bothers her. You can lay her off and pick pick right up where you left off six months later. She's quiet and is joy to be around. Great on the ground and loves attention and is respectful. Great to haul and good for the farrier.
Lot 77 is Buster. Over Yoder can sign this little horse. Paint gilding. Seven-year-old. Buster is an adorable little pony that is broke to drive and to ride. Our two, uh, two youngest ride him all over, spend hours and hours with him. And the two oldest have been using him to drive them to school. He has been through town, down Main Street, on the side, uh, side of state highways. And he does great in the traffic. Buster has also been ridden in the mountains. He is a true babysitter. And we cannot say enough about him. Check him out. That is Buster. check. All right, next up is going to be lot number 78. This is Socks, consigned by Hughes Livestock. Here's a five-year-old Palomino gilding. This is I'm a Poco-Eyed Bobcat by Kip's Cat-Eyed Rascal. Goes back to Kip's Poco Pine. Penny's Triple Bell goes back to Poco Blue Kip Hancock and XY Log and Hank Bell and Miss Chick Tammy 81. On the bottom side he is out of I'm a Breezy Eyed Bell. Goes back to Loose Money and Prissy Eyed Bell. Then goes back to Two Eyed Red Buck. Money's Best Dream Hank Bell and Miss Breezy Bartender. Here's a five-year-old Palomino Gilding with four white stalks. Good to ride in the type you can sit for a couple weeks then catch and go right off with no issues. He will have a one. We will he will one hand neck rein and also will ride around bridleless. He's also good to ride by himself from the arena to the mountains. He is good to shoe and sells sound. This is Socks, consigned by Hughes Livestock.
Here we go. This is Kevin, consigned by Gina Davis. He's a 15-year-old brown gilding. Frosty's Rooster by AP Frosty Knight goes back to Sutton Frost. AP Knight goes back to Docks. Jack Frost, Prissy Klein, Rapid Land, and Mary Dakota on the bottom side. Frosty's Rooster is out of Rooster Sweetie. Goes back to Gallo, Del Cielo. Docks, Olina, Love, which goes back to Peppy Sam Badger. Doc Starlight, Doc Alina, and Mrs. Hanky. Kevin, he is a 15 year old AQHA gilding. This is a one of a kind horse. Says that everyone's looking for, from kids to grandpas and everyone in between. Anyone can ride him. Not only is he gentle, but he is a solid barrel horse. He who knows his job, he does well in the arena and no alleyway issues. That is not the only place he shines. He has spent his whole life on the ranch. He has had years of long days to learn patience and gain stamina. He is very cow savvy, which is the benefit when roping in the pasture, branding, pen, or the arena. He's a cow horse, comes out when he's a cow horse, comes out when we decide to go have fun in the team sorting. He's been to college rodeos as a heel horse but is not considered a finished heel horse. However, it would not take much to get him there. He's our go-to horse when we need to get a job done, and he's ideal for most any situation. If you need a sound and gentle horse for the kids, and also great to haul and easy to shoot, Kevin is the perfect horse to take home. This is lot number 80, Rue, consigned by Kathy Blomquist. Here is a six-year-old buckskin gilding. This is All Rooster by Stylin' Rue. Goes back to Gallo de Cielo. You be Stylin' with me. Goes back to Peppy Sam Badger, Doc Starlight. Lean with me and Stylus Major. On the bottom side, he's out of CC Skipper's Eyes. Goes back to Little Diamond Skip. Skippo, Rock Lady, goes back to Premium Skip. Skips Fancy Dancer, Slick Rock Tony, and Skippa Cute Coke 90. Rue was folded in 2018. He's bred and has champion bloodlines. He's a very special horse. He loves people. I picked him up when he was a when he was three and not halter broke. I started him on in the round pen and got him haltered. Within a short time, he was following me around. After playing with him for a bit, I put him in the trailer and brought him home. A few days later, I put him back in the round pen. He didn't forget a thing. After a short time in the round pen at home, I was riding him bareback with a halter. I didn't have much time to ride him, so I would get in a few rides here and there. He has always been a good boy, never bucked or did anything questionable. My boy decided he wanted to rue in his graduation pictures, so after about five rides, we used him for pictures and taught him to lay down. He did awesome. I didn't ride him through the winter. The next spring, I started riding him again. Tom called and said he wanted him home so he could use him as a stud. We bred him to one mare. Then I finally got Rue back in the fall and put a few rides on him. I have trusted him with unexperienced riders. Tom has decided to keep a new stud colt and wanted to sell Rue. So with a heavy heart, they are selling Rue. He's been used around Wallsburg. He's been used in Wallsburg, around Colville, and casual rodeo arenas. He stands well for the farrier and is a favorite for everyone.
This is lot number 82. So lot number 82 is Houston, consigned by Susie Chadwick. Here's a 12-year-old Sorrel Gilding. This is Good Time and Man by Zippo's Mr. Good Bar. Goes back to Zippo Pine Bar and Tamara West. Goes back to Zippo Pat Bars, Dolly Pine, Blondie's Dude, Joe Moore Star. On the bottom side, it's going to be Leave em in Awe. Back to an awesome Mr. Zippo's Dynamic Design. Goes back to Mr. Conclusion, Terrell's Bay, Dynamic Deluxe, and Sunshine's Blossom. Here is a 2012 Sorrel Gilding with lots of world champions in its pedigree. You can do anything on this guy. We as a family have owned him for eight years and have shown him winning buckles and money. So thank you to Susie Chadwick for bringing Houston. And lot number 83. 83. This is Tito. Blame Van for not painting his own horse. Here's a 14 year old black gilding. Tito is a very cool little horse. He started at Ensign Ranch. Just riding the range. He is calm and patient, quiet, easy going, great to chew and trim, loads well, and is an easy keeper. He is a Welch quarter horse cross. Good with mares and gildings. He is an awesome mountain horse and rides great in the hills. He's a catch and loves attention. He had a great mane, but it was rubbed out when he was on the ranch and they were working to get it grown back in. Tito is just a good mountain horse. No thrills, just quiet, sure-footed, easy to be around. He is easy to step on and can travel all day. He has good black feet that are big and legs that are stout. Though he won't win many beauty contests the week of the sale, he is cute to look over while riding and a for sure companion for anyone in the family. No buck or bite. Great in, great all the way around. This is Tito, consigned by Van Kelly. As soon as we get everybody through this, we're going to go back to some of the open preview horses that wanted to show. We're going to set up some barrels and let them go through a pattern so you can see a couple of these horses that are patterned on the barrels. As well as show off a couple of the others that would like to participate in our open preview.
All right. So if you'll give us a minute, we're going to clear out some of the trail stuff, get it back out of the way, and we will open up. We've got a few horses till the show that wanted to show in the open. Again, 5 o'clock this evening, we have a buyer's clinic that will be put on by Wade Davis. He's going to go over some of the buying, that, uh, some things to expect, some things to talk about, questions he'll answer. We'll answer questions, go over some different things. Also, at 7 p.m. this evening, we have our annual tax sale. We've got some great saddles if you're looking for a saddle, as well as lots of great tax. So we invite you all back to our tax sale this evening. We've got about 115 items, so hopefully it won't take us too long. Also, while we're cleaning up, it's a great time to go and check out some of our great vendors. We have... Miss Mariah Pryor, she is here. She does custom-made jewelry. Also, Show Horse Nutrition, their superior animal nutrition. Stop by, visit with them, ask them questions about getting your animal healthy. We also have Rope Holders by Cahill Simons. You can stop in. He's got lots of great product. They fit well. We used him this year. So each horse that sells will get a Cahill rope halter that has been tied by him. Also, Circle Dot Customs. They do saddlery, custom leather work. Miss, Miss Faith Fitzgerald, she is out there set up in the mezzanine. Also, Burn Saddlery. If you've got a hat that needs a little bit of shaping and cleaned up or you need a new Burns hat, stop out there and grab one. Visit with Zach. Have a good time. Also, Cowgirl Heaven will be here this afternoon. She is a boutique, Western boutique. So stop in and say hi to Susan when she gets here. Also, Broken Z Saddlery. Brandon is out there. He also has some great stuff, specializes in some beautiful saddle work, building some custom saddles, as well as all kinds of fun stuff he's got holsters he's got some tack different items out there and audrey austin she's out there as well she's got all kinds of leather goods and knickknacks that you can stop in brushes things that you can use to help pretty yourself pretty the horse uh key licks supplements will be here this afternoon as well they specialize in a moisture base molasses lick tubs we've been using key licks around our ranch for a few years and they are awesome horses love them they are a nutrition base molasses tub so stop in and visit with key licks when they get here as well also if you have not registered with a buyer's number for the tax sale this evening or sell tomorrow you can do so down by the office that is the registration table Make sure to look through your programs. We've got all kinds of great sponsors in there. You see their banners going around the arena. A lot of great sponsors here in the Valley. We love to be here in Heber City. We couldn't do it and put this sale on without the great sponsors that we have. So make sure to stop in, say thank you to them. If you're booking the night, make sure to do so at the Holiday Inn or the Best Western or the Swiss Alps Inn. There's also some great food. The Hub Cafe, they were closed last year, but they are open, and it is delicious. Stop in the Hub Cafe, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The Dairy King, if you're looking for your hometown, good old shake, it is the Dairy King. So just as range gets done and Tito gets wrapped up, we're going to clear the arena. We'll take a few minutes, and then we will go back and finish out some of those open horses
Check one. Demps or somebody from Wasatch County, if you are here, could we get you to come drag the arena quick? We just want to show a couple barrel horses. So we'll wait and see if we can get a tractor in here. But while we're waiting, we'll move on to some of these other horses to show them working a uh, two-minute, kind of an open, open ride, open preview. You can take a look at them, see how they move. You watched them a second ago. A lot of them in the trail competition. That's wrapped up. We're going to start lot number seven. Here's Gray Horse, consigned by Dara Simons.
This is Charlie, a five-year-old. Gray Gilding, he is grade. Lots of nice things and good things to say about this horse. Connor's done a fabulous job of working him. Getting him ready for the show. He wears the number one shoe. He's got the big bone. He is the type and has the potential to be a super nice athletic horse. If you're looking for one to go to the show pen roping, put him in some heading training, this could be the horse for you. Just make a note in the bio, he's definitely not for the beginner. He moves out really good. But would fit more of an intermediate rider. As he lopes some nice circles, shows him off. Thank you to Connor and Darius for bringing us Charlie. We're going to go with Jasper next, and once Jasper's done, we're going to move out of the way, and we're going to drag for the tractor. Jasper is a John Mule consigned by Chance Provost. Now, if you know Chance, he is out on the range. He cowboys on them all the day long. He's got dogs. They run. They cowboy. They run out the desert. Have a ranch in Nevada as well as one here locally. So as we bring your dog in and show him off. Thank you, Chance, for bringing us. We're going to clear out. We're going to open these gates quick. We're going to drag the arena as quick as we can. Thank you to Wasatch County, their uh, maintenance crew, for being here, helping us out. They do a marvelous job. They're going to drag quick, and then we will run the barrel racers. If there's anybody wanting to show in the barrels. We've got a couple of them. I know lot 25, lot 49 are wanting to show. Just so everybody knows this isn't going to be a set pattern. It's going to be kind of based on where we think the clover leaf should be. It's not time, it's just to show that the horses are patterned on the barrels.
So we're going to let lot number 49, we're going to let her run. So lot 49. So this is Swagger, consigned by Russ and Edria Day, six-year-old Sarl Gilding. He's a he's out of PCR Pink Cadillac. He's currently running in the 1D and 2D times. Here is a horse that's paid into the Pink Buckle, the Ruby Buckle, Future, and the Fortune's Crown Royal. So she wanted to take him through a couple times, just kind of show him the pattern, just because it's not a set pattern. You look at the horse hunting the barrels. Some of the most athletic horses in the rodeo world are barrel horses as much as they can slow down and turn. So that is Swagger PCR. So Cadillac Swagger, he is by PCR Pink Cadillac. He's out of dash to fame and first down dash and lane leanster. So if you're in the barrel racing world, those are the ones to look for especially when it comes to those Ruby and Riata buckles. On the bottom side, it's Zipadelia's Queen by Easy Illusion out of a Bodella Blast. So great barrel prospect. If you're looking for one to go and run barrels on, you can. Now we're gonna preview Kevin. Kevin's lot number 79. Now he's just been basically patterned on the barrels. We're selling him as a, he's a ranch horse, but they've done just about everything. He's eager to please, and we'll let her show him the pattern. All right, this is lot number 25, consigned by Russ and Etria Day. So this is Drifty, a seven-year-old chestnut gilding, currently running in the 2D and 3Ds. In the barrels, he's paid into the pink buckle, the ruby, uh, Buckle, the Future Fortunes Royal Crown. He's also eligible for the Riata. Buckle Breeders Colorado, or the Challenge Colorado Classic Top Shell. So, been watching some of these PCR Pink Cadillac horses, and they are super nice horses. PCR Pink Cadillac was standing down in Richfield, Utah for a time. He's out of a lane leanster and a first down dash. So dash to fame, bred horse right there. If you're looking for one ready to hit the trail or a junior rodeo type horse, maybe that's one to look at. This is lot number 76, ZW Rope Horses and Shoeing. So if you're looking for one, this is a 2019 AQHA registered mare. This is Lane's Magic Bar by Firewater Lane. Goes back to I'm Alive Firewater, SKS Garbo. Lane goes back to Firewater Flit and Texas Sugar Cookie. Lane Linster on the top side. On the bottom, it's going to be Gail's Magic Bar. Goes back to Blue Mountain Magic. Misty Seeker Bar goes back to Blue on Blue Magic, then Mary Woods Gold Mist, Gold Seeker Jim, and Scooter Gold Bar. So we watched Miss Piggy a little earlier. They roped some steers on her. Jake headed on her, 
but she's one that's got the running blood. She's athletic. And with a little time and a little encouragement, just a five-year-old, so if you're looking for one to possibly take and go do some training on and maybe a future barrel horse, could be. Thanks, Jake. That is Miss Piggy. I think that's it for our barrels. So we're going to drop the barrels out of the way. We're going to continue with our open, kind of that open show. We're going to go to number, lot number 22. This is Sue. Sue is 11 year old Palomino Gilding that has been shown and has lifetime earnings of up to 75,000 in the rain cow horse. Here's one little back and stand up. He good 14 hands, 1100 or a thousand pounder. He'll spin both directions. You watch him in the rope horse preview. If you're looking for one that has been there, already been hauled and used, high school rodeo, this one is ready. Breakaway or heel horse. Consigned by three string cattle. Up next, we're going to go lot number 35. This is PB consigned by Kelly Horses. So a 12-year-old registered gorilla gilding, Davenport's Revenge. They call him PB, or it's short for pretty boy. Here's one that's got a nice lope, neck rein, sits, backs up, and one that they've been using around our place for the last few years. PB is his name. You can take the lead, or he'll follow along.
This is lot number 80. This is Rue, consigned by Kathy Blomquist, a six-year-old buckskin gilding. So he, this is one that they've used. They had him as a stud prospect. Then turned him into a gilding and got another stud prospect. But says they have trusted him with inexperienced riders. Tom decided to keep a new stud colt, so they wanted to sell him. So with a heavy heart, they had to gild him or they gilded him. He's very smart, he's kind, he wants to please. They've had him in reining training and roping skills. He's very soft in the mouth and the body. Like I said, he, he'll lay down. He's just got a little bit of an itch. But yes, they've laid him down. They've done all kinds of fun stuff with him. He's consigned by Kathy Blomquist. So it's great to have Rue here with us. So all rooster. On the top side, he goes back to the great Peppy Sam Badger. And a premium skip on the bottom side. As you can see, very nice, gentle, gentle buckskin horse. So thank you to Kathy. Good looking Rue. Be selling him. Lot number 80 tomorrow. We're going to go from lot number 80 to lot number 40. This is Mouse consigned by Three String Cattle. We want to say thank you to Superior Livestock. You can register to bid if you can't be here tomorrow with us. You can register to bid at superiorlivestock.com. Click on the Purebred and Equine page. Scroll down. It's the Heber Valley Horse Sale. So thank you to the crew from Superior for being here with us this year and helping out our sale. Now we're going to do an open preview. This is lot number 12.
This is Big Z. Consigned by Sharp Performance Horses. Eleven-year-old half-drive gilding. You can rope bulls at the bull riding. He's been hunted on. He's been ranched on. Done all kinds of gathering. Covers the country and travels out. Their six-year-old has been all over him. Rides him in the mountains. He rides around. Nice for as big as he is. You can look, watch him and see how well broke he is. He's packing the bridle like you want one too. That is Big Z. Half draft. Next we're going to go to lot number 79. This is Kevin. Consigned by Gina Davis, a 15-year-old brown gilding. He's a grandson of Sun Frost and Gallo Del Cielo goes back to Peppy Sam Badger. On the bottom side, here is one that has the cow savvy, which is a benefit when roping in the pasture. He's also been used as a heel horse. He's not considered finished. He is their go-to horse when we need to get a job done in conditions that are not ideal, or if you need to sound and gentle your or a sound and gentle horse for the kids. He's great to haul, easy to shoe. Kevin is the perfect horse to take home or to the next rodeo. So again, this is Kevin consigned by Gina Davis. Next up is going to be lot number 62. This is Juice consigned by Mark Bolthorpe. So, Juice consigned by Mark Bolthorpe. Some pretty nice. Big circles. They also showed him in the breakaway. Decent horse in the box. But one you can get out and ride. He's got the experience. So if you're looking for a junior rodeo horse. Again, thank you. That is lot number 62 that just rode out. Riding in is lot number 13. This is Snoop Dogg, consigned by Kelly Horses. 
He is a black quarter pony. Beautiful long mane and tail, baby doll head. He's got the hip, he's got the neck. He is just six years old. Has a whole lot of life ahead of him. And we introduce you now to Maggie. Now Maggie, she's out riding in her sneakers because she's a cheerleader and part of the dance company and all kinds of fun stuff. But this is one that she always prefers to ride when they go up on the hill. This is Snoop Dogg. He's been packed on. He's dragged calves. They've roped the Smarty. You can catch him just about anywhere. Saddle him up and go to town. Here's one that everybody will be looking for. He'll make a great kid's horse and be a talk of the town. Or he will make your kids the talk of the town. He's one that they've taken through the creek, been through some water, been up the trail. You can put the tarp over him, rub on him. That is a pretty nice pony. Again, Snoop Dogg can sign by Kelly Horses. He's lot number 13. All right, I believe this is our final one. So viewers from Superior, thank you very much. We're going to end it off right here, lot number 77. This is an awesome little Amish pony. This is Buster. Consigned by Orva Yoder. Here's a seven-year-old paint pony. And this is one that the two youngest ride. They spend all kinds of hours on him. The two oldest have used him to drive them to school. He's been to town. He's been down Main Street. He's been on the highway. He does great in traffic. Buster has also been ridden on the mountain trails. He's a true babysitter, and we cannot say enough great things about him. Check him out. Your child will love him. So this is lot number 77. He is... Buster from Orva Yoder. I almost thought you were letting the little sister drive while you were riding. So it's got the cart and harness and everything. They probably don't go with him right now. You could probably say good things to Orvi, and maybe he'll work you a deal if you buy Buster. So again, this is Buster. He pulls the cart. Like I said, they've used him up and down the highway. He takes the kids to school. Fun little pony right there. You won't find too many babysitters when it comes to ponies, and that's the kind of mind you want to have in a pony. Again, make sure to check out the great vendors we have here with us. Also, now till 5 o'clock is a prime opportunity to grab yourself something to eat. But also, go out and visit with these consigners. They're out in the stall barn. They're going to be out there. They would love to visit with you about their horses. Their horses have had a big day. This is a new setting, new place for them. So go out, visit with them, try them, talk to them, ask them questions. Oh, we're going to let little sister on for a ride. And we know that the Amish kids are such cute kids, but they don't go with the pony. But yes, you will be the talk of the town, 
and your kids will love you forever and ever, and they will always remember a pony like that. So again, thank you all for coming out this today. It's been a long day. We appreciate those who've stuck it out all day. But like I said, now's an opportunity to go out, check with these consigners, visit with them, get up close, take a look at these horses. Some great, great horses we have here this year. Again, thank you to Superior. We're going to close things up. We're going to open these back up. There's going to probably be some horses hanging out, but we've got 5 o'clock. We've got a clinic with Wade Davis. We invite everybody back to that because it's a great opportunity to ask questions, to visit with us, and talk a little bit more about horses. It doesn't have an on switch.